Welcome to the nation. This is the Ned's Declassified Podcast. Ned Pod. Kirk is here. This is Kirk speaking. Jacob's my here. apartment. <laughs> now getting on to the <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's in the building. Welcome, Jacob. Welcome, Trevor. Trevor's in the building. <laughs> Trevor's here. To I'm my, in the, to I'm my in the right. pod. Trevor to my right. Jacob to my left. <laughs> For all the video users out there. Um, I'm yes. Trevor. We're in Kirk's apartment for the very first time. Kirk and Callan's place here in Florida. Yes, she's Florida. She's in the, you know, in the tomb, in the cave, in the, in the basement, in the tomb. <laughs> <laughs> His now, apartment has a basement. <laughs> we've taken up the entirety, basically, of the whole middle of the apartment. Yeah, we did think about doing fisheye so you could really get a good grasp of the space in the, here. The but vast space yeah, around us. It's all ceiling. It is. It's nice. I love it. Um, yeah, it's been a. It's been a real hot minute since we recorded, especially for you, Trevor, because you haven't been on a Ned Pod in like yeah, a, years. <laughs> a year or two. <laughs> What's been going on? Oh, God, so much. We've we've been recording. Show me something. Also haven't done that in like a month. And yeah, in about a month. Uh, been been doing D&D. Yeah. Been uh, watching TV. Nice. Working. I think I changed jobs since I was last, you on, did? last on this show. I don't even th- I think since even last time that you were on. Show me something, probably. No. You just got promoted not too long ago. No. We recorded Abby's episode months ago. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I was. Well, anyways, I'm, oh, I'm the Time same sure job flies. as Jacob now for just for the sole Ned Pod listeners. I, I work I'm next. I, I work with Jacob now. Same degree, same job. Makes sense. <laughs> Everything. Um, I'm actually using my degree. So yeah, that's kind of sure. nice. Yeah. Um, for me, since uh, the last time we recorded, I got engaged. I got nothing to show for it on my hand, <laughs> but <laughs> I'll hold up the finger. Let's anyway. see that rock. Yeah, I got no <laughs> rock on, unfortunately. She didn't buy me shit. Wow. Um, what a that's one-sided fucked. arrangement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fucked that she didn't get you anything. Yeah. To Abby, in case you guys didn't know, I assume you know. I feel like they should know. We've talked about if it. If you don't know, you're not a then true listener. A, yeah, you're not a true Harbor Boy head. They definitely haven't seen all the episodes. You think there's not someone out there that's seen every single Harbor Boys piece of content? They exist. Somebody. They're out they Shout off in the comments. There's people that hit me up on Instagram all the time. I don't know who they are, but they just they're like, Where's the next episode? And I'm like I'm like, man. We're working on it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> this, we, this doesn't pay enough for it to be our sole job. Anything. We want to do quality over quantity. Yeah. Yeah. That's what and it is. And we're trying to milk Ned Pod <laughs> until the very last nice, second. We get a nice Monday evening yeah. where everybody can come out. <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah, that's when we are able to actually get out. Yeah, I was already headed over here and I sent it and I called Trevor. I was like, want to guess? And he said, sure. So, you know. I'm glad I'm getting in because you guys, we, we, are. we were talking about it. I needed to get in before the final ep. And we got one episode left. Um, it is possible that that is another quad slash five pod or whatever it ends up being or yeah, it could just ideally. be the two of us depending on schedules <laughs> that's very true <laughs> no 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 we can't i feel like you want to do the, you want to do every single harbor boy plus ked since he's been on so many ned pods <laughs> how are we gonna fly him in <laughs> yeah we'll fly him in we're he's coming in soon right thanksgiving he wasn't he either here this weekend oh that is not i didn't soon. see him though thanksgiving no, is not soon either. i didn't see him either i was supposed to see him and then he bailed it's sooner rather than later to be fair it was an understandable bail he's a busy man he is a busy man um, he's in demand <laughs> yeah, so we watched the second to last episode, the last true episode, because the next one's kind of like a two parter. Well, this one was kind TV of a two movie. This one was kind of a two parter, though. Yeah, but it's still short form. Yeah, you know the next one's long form. We've the next had, one's like forty seven. We've had two parter episodes before. Yes, but and they're always good. The next episode is a one video on it. It's it's a forty nine minute runtime. The last one Trevor was on was a uh, two parter. The it dance was. episode from season one. One no forty nine minutes though. <laughs> no, it was not. It was Sheesh. a normal normal length episode. Yeah, small. It was like 20 minutes long. Like Basically. 19 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, normal. <boy. laughs> a mini-sode. I think it was only 10 minutes, to be honest. <laughs> so short. <laughs> yeah. They covered a lot in that in that episode. They covered a lot in this one, too. Um, let me yeah, the first part of, this, <laughs> of the duo, uh, we got tests. Talking about tests. Okay. Okay. How yes. is it that it's the second to last episode... And they're just now covering tests. Well, one of the most key aspects of being in school. So now I can't prove it, but they have covered studying before, and I think they've covered like pop quizzes. You think that they're <laughs> retreading a little bit? 
of I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's such a broad category. I think they really use it as a stepping stone for them to move the overarching plot of the season, yeah. which is the romance. But also, this is like, I guess maybe you the final agree. exam. It's like because it's like towards the end of the show. They should have called it exams. They should have called it final exams or like. But then that really translates more to high school slash college. It does, but you it's don't have exams in finals? middle school. You don't. I. Didn't. I did you have them in, in finals? I don't think you have in, finals. You uh, tests, New York you quizzes. You you have tests and quizzes in middle school? Yeah. I don't think so. I know they do like regents, I think is what they call them there in what? like high school, but I never took it. Regents? I'm pretty sure we had a final test for, like That's in high covering school. everything we did we for the FK. year. At least in eighth grade. You didn't take FK. Did you they took give some you like Idaho a, fucking <laughs> Iowa test of basic skills? Did they give you like a God quiz in your Catholic school? We did have a religion test, yes. <laughs> they said, How cool is God? And you had to put one through five. <laughs> so sick. You put five, you aced it. <laughs> still one Each three. number was literally a letter grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's so cool. God's so cool, dude. <laughs> He's rad. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Catholic school in Florida. Still taking an Iowa test. I guess we did talk about that. Cause you I failed confession. <laughs> you failed confession. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I do want to uh, throw it around the uh, the table here. What are we drinking? Because you uh, just made something. And Trevor, I don't know what you have. Should you I go? go f- yeah, go first. I am the walrus. That's Spend what I'm it. drinking. Maybe from- we can hard zoom into it, show it. I provided this beer to Trevor. You did? I, cause I've I had that beer for months and months. I should have come from Gainesville all the way down to here. Damn. And now it's been sipped on by a heathen. <laughs> I've had this one before. It's fantastic. Hidden Springs is not too far, though, I, I thought. Is it? Is it That's from Hidden Springs? Springs? Yeah. I didn't buy it from the brewery. I brought it from a yeah, beer yeah, store. Yeah, it's in Tampa. I was like, I know where Hidden Springs oh, is. It's I have to Tampa. go. So we could go. I'll go and get you a replacement. <laughs> a replacement. Yeah, beer. it's good. It's got coffee flavors, right? A little bit. Or maybe, uh, am I thinking of a different one? This one's plum and bourbon soaked oak chips. Okay. Maybe you're tasting the bourbon. Yeah, the bourbon. It is quite tasty, regardless. Sorry. I do like this one a lot. Uh, I will. I, I left the house so fast that I forgot to bring beer. Mm. I just was. He, you, you called and you're like, "I'm on my way. We're gonna record." And I'm like, "I did." Got in the car and came immediately. Well, you know. I also didn't mention anything because I didn't know what was in his fridge. I brought two emergency beers of my own. I brought uh, the Graffiti Orange Seventh Son. Um, it's a Dunedin Brewer. Uh, it's a good one. It's a, it's a nice orange wheat ale. Wheat? Yeah, I've had that one a fair bit. That, that place is also not far from where I Very live. Very close. Like downtown. Insanely close, some would say. Yeah, I had some wine. I had some leftover Uruguayan wine. It was a Tanet was the name of the grape mm-hmm. variety. It was a good wine. But then I had this. Uh, this is like a spritz. I got Campari, sweet vermouth, a little bit of Averna Amaro. I saw him mix this Highball. up in, in .5 second flat. You do it by eye. That's the best taste in drinks. Trevor so when was you buy still it. over here, distracted by Hazel, the cat. <laughs> you cat, can see her in frame. Hopefully, I think. She's in frame. Hopefully, she'll go up onto the circus mount. Come up onto the mount. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I say, I think if any cat was going to do tricks, it would not be this one. Um, I she do seems very have independent. an alcohol uh, anecdote to add as well. Um, I just went to Colorado um, for a couple of days. Came back just in time for a hurricane. Perfect um, timing. We were all good here in the Harbor Boys Nation. Uh, we are a little bit north of where all the damage was at. If, if, our, our thoughts in case you guys have been following it. Thoughts and prayers go out to the people affected, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's dang. Please donate to charity of your choice to help people that need it. Or dang, keep on keeping on. Or that, yeah. <laughs> that's fine, that's too. That's Kirk's philosophy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so while I was in Colorado, um, um, I guess... Once, once I get married, he'll be my brother-in-law. But Abby's, uh, just you can call him your brother-in-law. <laughs> Abby's sister's husband. <laughs> um, he that'd be a brother-in-law, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Something like that. It's brother-in-law. He's a guy <laughs> that exists. Well, He's we a guy that you're kind them, of related to, and he brews like his own stuff at home. Like he Ooh. brews his own beer and like mead and that. stuff. So that's hype. Um, so I tried his um, his cider that he brewed and his hell was it called it was some other cider type thing but it was called something else it was like more beerish than a cider um both very good home brewing you who would have thought you could do it on the low for harbor cheap. boys brewery one day maybe why not it tasted of honey honey not and meads. apples so it wasn't a mead uh no it was a seltzer and something else but he does he does brew his own mead as well nice that's cool that's hype 
Respect. You didn't Shout bring out any? To that Shout guy. out Nick. You didn't bring any back for us? I brought nothing back. I flew back. You think I'm going to check that? Yeah. No. I don't even think you could transport home brews, can you? You got to you got to bring it in a car. I, I I mean I don't know in this country. Got to bring it in a car. I mean, they can't tell what it is. I didn't drive to Colorado. <laughs> you got to drive to Colorado. They can't tell what it is whenever you're flying. Like I transported a six pack of beer from Wyoming by taking each one, putting it in a plastic bag inside a sock, inside another sock. And Why did you do that? To make sure they didn't break. Or, and if they did pop open, they would just be in the bag. Oh, I thought you were doing it for smuggling reasons. No. Oh. No, it's not smuggling. You consider yourself to be a if smuggler. If it is smuggling, I didn't do that. This is all Look hypothetical. He's Han Solo. He is Han Solo. Where's your vest? <laughs> um, but anyway, Greedo. This episode, <laughs> uh, three exams on the same day. That is some shit luck. Ned gets that hit does with suck. three Thursday exams. First off, Sweeney tells him it's going to be a short answer, true slash false, on Thursday. Short answer in science? What's he writing about? That's a good question. That's that, a good question. Because that's a paragraph answer. Not necessarily. Is he's he just, writing about the cells, you think? The powerhouse of the cell? Mitochondria. <laughs> I'm talking like that's what? Is What do you think? Is that one to two sentences? You think it's three say, to five sentences? I think it depends on the type of question. Two to five to sentences. If it's asking for definitions of terms, then that's like one to two sentences. If Sweeney doesn't tell you how many sentences he wants, that's fucking one to two sentences. Man. Yeah. I think usually in parentheses they put the sentence amount they're looking for, no? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If Sweeney doesn't do that, Sweeney that's on Sweeney. wouldn't do it because then Sweeney is a coward. You can also guess by just the amount of space between... Just one one bloody sentence, Ned. <laughs> All you need is one sentence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it could even be one word. No, that's not short answer. That's a short answer. That's a very that's short how you answer. fail that's, your class. That's a very short. That's answer. how you fail your life. If they literally just put a definition down, what is what is this? What's describing? the powerhouse of the cell? You write God. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Catholic school, hundred <laughs> percent. That's State the plus. theory of evolution. <laughs> Trick answer, there isn't. <laughs> we were all made 2,000 years ago. And that's how it went. <laughs> I teacher also assigns an essay exam. I teacher has a self-driving cart. I teacher is an English teacher, right? Yes. Essay exam makes sense. Yeah. And she also said that you need to make sure you're studying Shakespeare. So I don't know if he's like rewriting the history or what he's doing with Shakespeare. Explain how you think Shakespeare thought about... I mean, if it's short about... essays, then yeah, it's probably a whole thing about... Like, like, an, like a review? Like, like what are you doing? Like a college essay? <laughs> probably... He's gonna, like, He's gonna like dissect Shakespearean. Uh, yeah, it might be stuff. Understanding like, ask like what is like what was the 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 point the motive the of motive characters. of this character or what was the whole point of this or what was the underlying truth of this story like, mm. what do bunch of horseshit yeah, and then multiple choice is right. always they the give stuff English degrees are made of. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You're getting too close to home, all right? We didn't have English degrees, but we no, were damn no, close. No, I know. Yeah, it's yeah my concentration was Film basically Film is always English. in the College of English. Yeah, we didn't do that. No. We were more practical. We actually wanted to make shit. Yeah, we didn't That's want true. to talk about it. That's on, it. On, the, on Will. <laughs> Power returns. You'll never see this. Principal no, you'll Powell. never watch this. We can say whatever we want. Principal Pal's back. Old Principal Pal. Looking younger than ever. Spry. Do you think he got like stem cells injected into his dick or something? I think he got stem cells. Into his dick. (laughs) Wait. He got something heavy. You missed that part. (laughs) I think he did get the stem cells though. Or like human growth. Like some sort of testosterone replacement therapy. HGH. I don't think that makes you look younger. I think Botox. It might. I think it makes your ha- Botox will make you look younger. And yeah, plastic. It fills in your well, not necessarily. <laughs> no, but it's not really good at it. It's uh, like the way he carries not, not himself. Not this time period. This is still Joan Rivers was alive time well, period. R.I.P. Joan God Rivers was, was rip. Hilarious young, lady man. looked like a doll. Friends with Juliana Rancic. <laughs> Joan Rivers. Yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> um, like Pal spins the wheel. He goes, "We're gonna have a test because he's chaotic. He's chaotic evil." I stand for chaos. He's also giving um, a multiple choice test, but also if you're saying he's chaotic evil, he there's a decent chance that he made every single answer C. Yeah. So that way, as you're going down, you just start second guessing everything because why would they all be C? I wouldn't second guess that. I would if I saw that as the pattern, I'd be like, this is probably what the teacher did. (laughs) And then there's one that's B. Well, then (laughs) then you know something's wrong. You don't believe in true random? Or that could be true random. That is true random. To be fair, I definitely like have eliminated, like back in the day, eliminated questions where it's like, okay, the last three were C, and I'm between C and D on this one. Yeah. I'm going to pick D. I There's mean, the no answer, way it's C again. The answer is usually C. It's C or B. 
I don't, and know, that's that's the I don't know about that. Well, I mean, honest to God, I usually went off of like what I learned in AP, which was like, if you don't know, pick the longest answer. <laughs> It's a fair. That only really works for you know history classes, but that's fair. <laughs> also, you, like yeah, and their their statement of go with your gut, like whatever the first thing you thought, just go with what that. If your gut's dead wrong, and you're some sort of dumb loser. Well, what then you have dead? bigger problems. But <laughs> overall, I'll, I I always agree with that. Is like I always was doing a lot better when I finally realized that was the case, and I stopped second guessing myself. When I was in school. You gotta believe in yourself. In you yourself. Gotta, I was an AB student. I don't know. You know what do you, you want? You an AP student. I oh! I did take one AP cl- class, but which one? Human geography. Oh, that was you learned the... about the body. No, <laughs> no AP human. That was the one that was like people are like nomads. They're the like climbing. traveling around, right? Yeah, yeah the way yeah. the that migration, and civilization, of a little yes, bit, yes, and yes, stuff yes. like that. I didn't take that one, but I should have. It I was only, super easy. It was I the only easiest took one. A push. I got a four on that one. Aced a push. Also got a four. <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah, he fame spins, and V Ned. But look, pal spins the wheel. Test on Thursday. The the wheel is to determine what day of the week the test goes on. Blah blah blah. Cookie takes a lover exam. He comes up with the idea. Right? Well, also, Moses is taking the lover exam. Yeah, she's the Moses first one. The one. She's Moses. the first one. Cookie makes his own to try and disprove. That did, you, did you guys ever know anybody that read any teen zines? No. No. But they. Ex- I remember them being around because I remember um, I would go to, uh, I think it was Books A Million that was closest to me. Um, and we would go there and sometimes I would buy Star Wars Insider Magazine. Oh, shit. That must have been expensive. It was pricey, but it was worth it. Um, <laughs> the sickest I, picks. I remember buying a couple of them to load up for the hurricane coming. I think it was like Hurricane Charlie or whatever. Um, That's a minute ago. That was yeah. That was back in like fifth grade. Yeah. Um, was that like behind the scenes picks, or was that more like lore insider? Like this is the planet things. Have both. On? It was a good mix of both. That's what you want. Because this was during. They know the, everybody's into both. This was finishing up the prequels. <laughs> this was finishing up uh, episode three. Uh, that was that era because I think that came out in two thousand five or two thousand six. Um, so it was that a great right. time to be subscribing to Star Wars Insider. All but right. to bring me back to it, I remember those magazines being around, like the Tiger or whatever. Tiger it's, Beat. Yeah, Tiger Beat, and like the, the only one, the only Teen reason Vogue and shit. Only one I ever yeah. knew was Tiger Beat, and that's because there's a whole bit at the end of Stripes where you can win a date with Ox in Tiger Beat. Shout out nice. the Show Me Something episode where we watched Stripes and Will had a heart attack <laughs> on camera. He hated it. <laughs> he did not like Spoiler. that Spoiler. You didn't like it either that much. That was a bad movie. <laughs> I've still never seen it. It's good. It's not worth seeing. It is worth seeing. Watch I mean, the movie and then watch the show me something. Honestly, most people, you know, side with you in that regard. People, yeah. uh, me and Will are the outsiders that didn't like it. But anyway, ne- uh, <laughs> Mose, yeah, Mose has the the magazine. She has her little zine. She's flipping through. It has a Teen boyfriend. Z. You got to choose between your two boy suitors. Your boy toy or your boy goy. If you're courting two suitors and you have to decide which one you'll present your flower to. Yeah. Well, she gets a flower presented to her. No, no, no. That's true. I, She's I know the what holder ta- of the flower. I know what you're talking about. I'm trying to keep it clean here. <laughs> He's trying to keep it PG. That's fair. That's noble. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a series of questions. You go down the line, you, you and you, I guess you have to ask each of these guys the questions. Yeah, my question is, <laughs> this is a this is out of 10, but like most of the time she was giving them 10 or 0. Yeah. But there was one, I didn't see which one it was, it went too fast, but S- Feynman got five on one of them because he ended with a 95. Yeah. Out of out of 100. Out of 100. So, like, yeah. what was that one where he got half right? I mean, we, some of them were... have to watch the sequence because it happens very quickly. Some of them were kind of strange, you know, they were, like, not even questions, you know? What's your yeah. favorite food? And Feynman's like a steak, a medium rare, and Ned's like... Lime sherbet. Why is that an L? Yeah, that's good. That's cool. Lime, lime sherbet's, sherbet's good. good. That's more interesting than steak. Is it, it is maybe because she also likes steak medium rare? Everyone likes steak medium rare. That's not I true. like steak rare, but you know. Well, yeah, you like it blue technically. More or less, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and cooked. <laughs> Just some people, some raw. people like it cooked. Some people, I can't eat it unless it's cooked. But I think if someone told me that their favorite food was specifically lime sherbet. I'd be like, that's pretty cool. That's, that's interesting. Pretty, well, you're going to have think? a good time when you find out what yeah, margaritas are. Yeah, that's probably are. a zany person. <laughs> like, <laughs> you what know? would you think if they told Lime? you my favorite food is steak well done? Oh, uh, well, I don't, not I tell necessarily them, friends with that person. Yeah, no, like I would tell them to get out. Classic. <laughs> Never speak to me again. This is guy country. You're eating shoe leather. <laughs> Those people exist. Yeah, I don't fully. It's usually agree. women. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not Ooh. always, I don't think. Ooh. I'm just thinking from experience. My mom, big one. 
You know what? Your my sister used to eat steak with Chick Fil A sauce. Does she always do eats that? it with ketchup. That's her de facto oh, go to. Yeah, my my sister's mother in law <laughs> loves it like almost burnt. Like they need to learn to super respect well done. The, so the cow god. Yeah, I would say uh, it's also like a different thing Indian in like of some sort. I don't know. I well, feel like it's like it. a thing in different cultures too. Like I feel like white people generally like medium rare, or medium. Generally. and then like other cultures sometimes they they like it burnt. True. I've, if you That's go to what like I've a Latin felt American from restaurant, life. if you go to like a Latin American restaurant, you yeah. get like a steak. It's yeah, like well it's done. It's usually a very thin steak, and it's yeah. cooked very. There's no pink in it. No, yeah. that's different. All. If it's a super thin steak, sometimes then it's, it's hard very to good keep. though. But yes, I find this a lot in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, you're yeah. talking to different people around, you know. No, that's true. So yeah, dumb question for a, a compatibility test of what's your favorite. Yeah, movie. I'm actually kind of mad at this test right now. Yeah, it was. Lime <laughs> sherbet wins. I say ten out of ten. This was an insane episode. Both of these episodes were crazy. I feel like the the norms that they set up and the things that they expect you to take for granted and shit like that. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> I honestly don't even know what I'm going to rate this episode. Right I know. Now. I oh have God, no rating I have in no mind. idea. Uh, I haven't think about so it. So that's going to be we, fucked. You, you watch it with an open mind and then you dissect it. Okay, so yeah. Ned slowly turns thing. into a geek over the course of the episode because he goes to the geek club. Yeah, and what was his, uh, his, his name that he was going by? You guys had the Den? name. Den? It was it was uh Dean? it was Den Yibge because it's his name backwards. Yeah. It's Ned's, oh, Pig Latin. It's, Den. it's not Pig Latin. <laughs> and then uh, Big B becomes Yib Gib. Yeah. Den what we Yib-Gib. couldn't remember is who came up with the name and who came. It was it was Ned. Gordy was like you giving him. You don't think it was the Gordy was giving him stuff like you should just give up and cry. Uh, and he was like something about opposite of you. He's like, you're right. I need to become the opposite of me. Den Yib Gib. Maybe he looked at a name tag like in a mirror or something, and he's like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Why would really? he have a name? Memento like? style. I came up with a fake Lord of the Rings fucking name that nobody would ever have, you know, in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Yib Gib. There's, there's a new Lord of the Rings show out right now. But is Dan in it? I don't know. I haven't watched it. The noble Dan Yib Gib. I've heard mixed reviews. First of his name. Of Hobbiton. Maybe I'll give it a watch. <laughs> it's on Amazon. What we just what we just watched Ned on. It's true. We had to pay for that shit though. <laughs> I own it. You own it now. What I what we need to get as the Harbor Boys crew. This is more inside baseball stuff. But we need to have a Harbor Boys Paramount Plus account because yes. that has all the Nickelodeon that shit. That has on a it. lot of stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be tight. That's inside baseball. All right, I'd be game. I'll yeah. chip in. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. talk off mic. So Moe's <laughs> favorite color red. Cookie favorite color green. Evelyn and Seth's favorite color also green. Yeah, most people in the school favorite color green. Well, it's the mascot of the school. What's your favorite color? Blue or green? Pick one. I'm going to go with blue. I'm going to go with green. I look good in blue. <sighs> I <laughs> used to say green, but I'm going to say red because everything in my life is red. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. don't wear a lot of green use, but I am wearing green right now. I've got blue on, under on the white. It's white oh, I blue. own a lot of blue clothes. Yeah. I mean, really? My favorite color is gray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wear a lot of gray. That's We're fair. Going clothes. Yeah. You if we're going say on that. clothes, it's going to be like, well, I wear a lot of red, too. It's going to be gray and red. Bucks colors. <laughs> Blue is good, but I also really like the color combo of like black and gold and black and red. Black so. and gold. Black and gold's a great color combo. That's pimp as hell. I need to start seeing you wear gold pants. <laughs> wear black and gold. gold. With Why? gold trim. Yeah, black pants with gold trim. No, fully gold pants. Gold okay. pants. Okay. Shiny or matte? I'm picturing like a like a gold Leather, suit with a, gold. with a black button like the down. the look of leather pants, but gold. A yes. gold suit with a... Black, but why not a It'd be black spandex. suit with a gold button down? No, no, I feel like, no, no. No, gold has to be the accent color. No, gold's the full color. <laughs> gold cannot be the primary color. Gold, gold has is, to be the secondary color, even is, the tertiary. I like gold. You know? <laughs> gold is traditionally the secondary accent color. Yeah. Unless you do a full two tone and it's equal amounts, gold and XYZ other color. Fair enough. Two tone gold black. Jewel tones. Like all my jewelry and stuff is gold. Like I got, the, I wear the gold. Chain and stuff. And you're my, my fucking jeweled up. My watch used to. Why are you so iced up? Right you're now? icy. <laughs> Why are you icy, dude? It's a Monday. It's a fucking Monday. Iced no, out no. on a Monday, dude. He's like, this is some regular shit. I had to ice out. Is that empty? Finish it and go grab one. We'll stay on mic. You can do that. Can I do that? I don't know what to grab. What is? Pick it? anything out. Whatever's in there, but you know, just. Yeah, but so Ned's test dressing. Needless to say, throughout the whole episode, three tests lined up on a Thursday. What day of the episode? What day of the week do you think this starts out on here? 
Monday. I, Monday. I agree with a Monday off mic Monday. Another man. Next Do you Monday. think everybody else is also getting fucked this way? Um, Only if they have Ned's schedule with teachers and. Do all the teachers and all the subjects put tests on the same so, day? Like, we get into... I don't... You know. From my experience, especially middle school, there's not that many teachers that teach the different subjects per grade. There's, like, two. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I feel like a lot of people probably have his same schedule. He's in a big Bay Area middle school, though. You're talking about the San Francisco Bay Area? I'm talking about the greater SF Bay. The greater SF Bay, but he lives in a red neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> It's unproven, it's but... It's purple, at least. <laughs> it is purple. It's challenged. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so, I mean... Cool? Yeah, okay. that's, a, that's a good thing. I saw three of these, so I felt like that. Yeah, those are good. Trevor just grabbed a new brew. Um, He's going to he's gonna say what it is once he's on mic. It's really a brew. Well, Here what is it? Stack up a little it's, bit. He's got one of those tequila sodas. It's a tequila soda. Interesting. There, I, there was three of them, so I felt less bad about taking one. You're not even going to, like, shove a wedge of lime inside of that? Probably got some lime juicy inside. You think so? I would imagine. It says so. with natural flavors, so I assume <laughs> okay. that's the lime. Oh, I can't wait to hear what you should think. I is should I read it? Should I? No, I, no, no, <laughs> I wouldn't read a thing. No, no, no. But so Cookie, <laughs> Cookie's trying to <laughs> set up Evelyn no. with Seth. <laughs> right or wrong? Wait, what'd Cookie's you say? trying to set up Evelyn with Seth. Yeah, and I hate every second of it. Because you know what? Love Seth, but Cook, come on, Seth you got this Seth. one in the bag, man. Seth is such an idiot. You, wait, what do you mean? He's you want him to you want him to bang Evelyn? I think Evelyn and him are a good match. That's fair, but he's so fucking resistant. He might be gay. I <laughs> don't. No, I don't think he is. <laughs> no, but he is definitely resistant. He spends the whole second episode. Like, no, he's too obsessed with Lisa. <laughs> yeah, he's just one track mind. He's very fucking. Pers- he's very. Particular. Well, this is how he gets. But I also don't like that in the second episode. I know we're bleeding over a little bit here, but they're related. It's like one episode. I don't really. like that he immediately moves on to lisa it doesn't i don't it doesn't jive with me like i feel like it he he just got broken up with essentially he uh, i think he was disappointed by the end he was he was disappointed but also his thing was oh i give up like he was trying to get her to not like him anymore and then when it worked he was but i I feel like through all the trials and tribulations he saw that they could have been a decent relationship at best. Well, at yes. best, roll no, it out. No, a couple by the weeks. end of the episode, yes, he's like, he's like, I want to be with you, and then he can't have her because Seth is like, this chick's. Rule. And that's when he wants her the most because exactly. that's what Cook Cook likes what he can't have, he's and like, that happens every time. Yeah, he's like George Costanza. He is like George We've Costanza. Said this Some before. could say this was written like is Larry David on the writing staff. <laughs> we actually didn't see. They're, <laughs> they're Larry Davidites. They are. They're in the schoolhouse of Larry David. Yeah. Yeah. Lineage. Michael Ian Black. Yeah. Who directed this (laughs) one? Do we know who directed this one? No, actually, we didn't see. It's probably Fred Savage, I would assume. No, I think it might have been Lazar Sarek again. (laughs) Lazar again? (laughs) It's Lazar Sarek. You don't know the directors (laughs) of the show? There's three. I know you talk about him because we used to talk about him on... There's Fred Savage. There's... um, Savage Steve Holland. Savage Steve Holland. Yeah, there's two Savage directors. And then there's Lazar... Lazar, I'm a fire in my Lazar. <laughs> it's really insane the names, but you know. Yeah, that's that. I mean, Sweeney, uh, the teacher. So all the teachers harass Ned, and they're like, "You better be studying for my subject and not these other fuckers." The like he's like, "I'm in all these classes." <laughs> yeah, what do they expect? The only one who I feel like was justified was because they watch him. The they science. like, "I see you studying history. You should be studying for science, motherfucker." Well, he looked like he was in the science classroom when he was told that by the science teacher. So I think that makes well, sense. that was round table. I think that was study hall. Oh, that was study hall. Then that's fucked. Because usually when they're in study hall it's a round table scenario like that and he was round not Robin. at a desk fair enough but that it's like was a the round table it wasn't situation. the it wasn't the the um study hall teacher which is the dark haired guy previously it was mr wow yeah before he was but escorted also, out of the school before he was assassinated how does robot teacher know teacher? what he's doing She's an all-seeing eye. She's got surveillance. Oh, she's hooked into the surveillance cam to the whole school? Oh, for sure. You think that there's a chance that she's an AI-generated program? Yes. I think the chances. Yes. Like what Milo. Uh, 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 psychopath. Like, uh, what's his oh, name? Oh, psychopath. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Like uh, Max up. Headroom. <laughs> Max <laughs> Headroom. Interesting. Um, any theories as to who Max Headroom was? 
I don't know anything about him. Oh. Uh, I just know he was a floating virtual head. <laughs> just like I, mean, I teach her. You've got some theories. I watched. I listened to a podcast where they talked about who it probably was. <laughs> Did so, you really? Yeah. Interesting. Red we'll Web. Talk. What? Red Web is the name of the show. Well, shit. Shouting Check out it out if you want, but also don't. Stay on the Harbor Boys. Stay channel. on the Harbor Boys. Maybe we'll we'll have our own Conspiracy Theory podcast coming soon. <laughs> That'd be soon. good. That'd be a Conspiracy fun. podcast. <laughs> yeah. We do get some Gordy stuff in these episodes. We do. Uh, thank God. Very... Uh, it's a little Gordy. Wait, little to no vice principal? No crubs. No little. Crubs. The crubs alarm. No, we get him a l- uh, Was he there? I can't remember. Actually in, remember. The second ha- in the second half of the episode, right at the end, he's the one. He's like, hey guys, look who's back. Yes. Okay. That was him. And he also was there when... That's um, barely fucking there. That's why he, I said little. He gives the phone to F- Fabio? What's the... Fa- Feyman? Uh, Feyman? Feyman. <laughs> Fabio. <laughs> I'm say he that. gives the phone to you Feyman. You know, Fabio's like actually some, some... been on this show before. Really? Yes. I don't doubt that. This is the right era for it. There's Excuse been a Fabio me. cameo. <laughs> Fabio cameo. Uh, but he gives the phone to the kid. It's like your coach is calling or something. And then... He's like, oh, so you're moving back to Brazil. Yeah, that's but barely fucking counts as Krub's appearance. He might as well not have been there. Could have well, been anybody. It he should have been somebody else because it actually made me more mad that he was there and didn't like get a good grind. He brought in. Krub's on but set. But he was there. He got the payday. Hmm? I said he got the payday. He got the payday. <laughs> and you got to respect him for that. So he was definitely only there for a day. Yeah, Gordy's like, I went to some middle, military schools when I flunked out of high school. He gives Ned that list. He also went to medical school, he said. He flunked out of medical school. He must have got accepted into just a real shit one and then didn't do good enough. Yeah, it was probably like an online only one. Yeah. That or like he's like, I went to medical school where he just started trying. Like, I'm going to be a doctor and took one biology class and failed. And now he counts that as going to medical school. I mean, I'd, I'd count it. I'm sure he has a loose. If you had the or like military mind. school, you could take one class. Yeah. Get out. Yeah, you try to learn to become like a medic, a field and it also, medic. And also, I, I oh, think maybe it, that's what it was. I think it was military. Like, <laughs> is there are there military middle schools? Probably. Um, almost certainly. Trevor, you would know. You're from the country. I feel like that's, that's where, where they recruit out of. Don't shake your head at me. I mean, we had J. <laughs> we had our. We didn't have ROTC in middle school. We had that in high school. Okay, I went to Catholic private middle school. Okay, <laughs> we, we, we they did. recruited the Catholics. They're always trying to get the next crusade going. <laughs> We're going to get it back. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we didn't cover the Crusades like, at all in religion really? class, surprisingly. <laughs> you didn't cover any of the Crusades? We, I think, might have barely touched on them in history class. That's the only time when they should come up, I feel. I feel like they should come up in religion class. Like, guys, we kind of fucked up. For I would a say while. it's a pride. What do you mean? You don't think that was sweet? No. <laughs> you don't think it was sweet? What do you mean? Is that, would you call that we? Would you call it what? Still, we? We did the crusade. Yeah, we're Catholic. I'm not Catholic. I mean, no, we like me. <laughs> oh, they're Catholic. Yeah, you guys did. Yeah, it. we the Catholic Church. That's well, a Catholic though, because it was like, I think it that was, was like Orthodox, wasn't it? Come on, that was I think like, that was before the split. Oh, it was pre-split, so I it think wasn't that was like, a pre-split kind mm. of scenario. So it was you. It was technically me. It was you specifically. You, I was there. You, you went to the first. to the Holy Land. I went burned. back in time, became Pope. Oh, that's kind of sick. Uh, and. It started the Crusades. Listen, all wow. right. We must return the Holy Land. Everyone is harassing Ned. <laughs> Ned had to join the Geek Squad. He had to go to Geek Headquarters. And yeah. not the Geek Squad that you think of Best Buy style. Geek Squad as in... Geniuses? What is the first letter? Is it genius? Geniuses, everything... It, no, Excited Exam Club. I think What's it was the G? Was geniuses or I think the it geek was, again? I think it, it can't geniuses. be geek. I think again. it was geniuses. Okay, good. <laughs> geniuses who are excited about exams club. And he's like, club such to the C, and they're like, we know. Yeah, and then they did the yeah. <laughs> they're like, not, not, <laughs> not all the time. Not here. <laughs> don't. We don't do it, and neither does. Uh, neither does Burger King. Neither do those white gentlemen down the street. They don't uh, spell it the same way. The either. KKK. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have a big That's population. Clan. That's not club. It's the same <laughs> shit, though. I don't they're think the they have a population club. in California, not in the San Francisco Bay Area. They're, they're, the they're everywhere. Club. The San Francisco Bay Area? I'm sure there are some. No, you're right. That's Did funny, you ever watch the movie Black Klansman with, the, uh, with Topher Grace in it? I wanted to. Topher Grace. <laughs> 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 Eric is the leader of the KKK. It was that, wild. To- it was a good movie. That Spike Lee. Doesn't not track, but... It's a good one. I'd recommend. Spike Lee. Anyway... <laughs> Yeah, everybody in the club has the same tape bundle in the middle of the glass. Because that's the stereotypical geek thing. Loomer has gone and 
taken all their glasses and busted them. He probably had them all line up, and he's just like, "Give me your glasses," and just he, busted them. He all probably one did after do another. that. They were like, okay, but also, where was he this episode? No Loomer action either. That's another character that it we don't like have. Uh, he'll be in the next episode. Well, he has to be. He does the fucking finale, dude. <laughs> don't look at it. It's, <laughs> it's painful to see it. I'm looking at I it. I can't believe we got to it. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> We've been doing this show for years now. I wonder which one lasted longer, this or Dragon Josh. Probably Dragon Josh it took a year gaff at one point. <laughs> yeah, it was very sporadic year with and then nothing? it took a year. It was like, uh, actually, I think it was like nine months. That's Something a long like time. that. Yeah, we well, done you that. know. Post college, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? You know, is sometimes you, you know, you got to take a break. I took a sabbatical. <laughs> you finished it though. You came back. You did and you finish did it, it, and now you guys are about yeah, to finish. We'll do a retrospective at some point. We'll get we got to make Harbor the drinking. We got to make the drinking game. I got my, all my notebooks. I got to flip through the notes. Oh shit, we're gonna do a drinking game. Yeah, for for Ned's, we got one queued up. Drake and Josh would be easy to do one too. True, we could make one. Wait. Um. What? Backpack that'll kid is video. paralyzed. That'll have to be a video. Oh, okay. Backpack kid's paralyzed from the waist down. <laughs> that was the next note on my page. So too. what happened to backpack kid? Did some? Did he I fall at some no point? No idea. Or? No, he did not. Did, haven't you watched the show? You don't remember backpack? I remember kid? backpack kid. He had a big okay. backpack and he yes. did fall a couple yes. of times. But I was wondering, did we see an episode where he fall like extra hard? <laughs> We didn't they see that. They show it. It's traumatic. <laughs> he gets shot. A, a bullet ricochets and hits him in the spine. And he gets. Did you guys ever watch that episode of Degrassi? <laughs> no. Where, where uh, Jimmy got shot. <laughs> what? Because there was a Drake. school shooter. Yeah, a school shooter. And no, did he get I shot? And that's was... why he's in the wheelchair? Or... Yeah. Oh, okay. This Because he was like a basketball star. And then he got shot. And then he was paralyzed. In school? Yeah. So there school, was a school shooter. It was a school shooter. Ooh. I didn't say it. As I a, just said. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even seen it. I just I thought it It's a great been. episode. It's a legendary arc of Degrassi. Think about the balls to put the hat on Nickelodeon. There was a school shooter. That was TV a Nickel- show. Wait, <laughs> well, technically, that was a Canadian television show that was broadcasted on um, Teen Nick. That was Canada, um, like... <laughs> they were, uh, what would you say, culturally appropriating America with that. I feel like... Yes, they were. <laughs> Technically, w- they had no right to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because <laughs> we have all the school shooters. <laughs> okay, I was like, are you talking about the show or are you just talking about school shootings? No, no but um, <laughs> I don't think any show has done it better than them. That's fair. That's fair. It was yeah. a fucked up episode. That was a crazy arc. I watched that when it happened. Was Degrassi very And like, I've rewatched it with Abby. Oh, nice. <laughs> was Degrassi really like dramatic and stuff? Yeah, it was a soap opera for kids. So that's what Clone High is parodying. Maybe. Okay. Because that's a show. I yeah, a lot of stuff has parodied um, Degrassi. Tons of stuff has. At the end of episodes, we're like, next week on a very special episode of... Um, shows did they that. Wouldn't, they wouldn't... Shows really, did I don't that. remember Degrassi doing that. Okay. That's more 80s. I think that's a yeah, early Yeah, yeah, that's 80s, know, yeah. Man, that was a thing. Now, step off, all right? <laughs> Back to this. <laughs> One of the questions on Moses quiz which her little you know her little zine quiz goes throughout the most of the episode she's like do they hang out with dudes or do they hang out with duds i don't know if you want them to hang out with in quotes dudes i feel do they like hang out with the fucking better bros? Bros are probably shitheads <laughs> so you're calling the kid in a wheelchair a shithead <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's true he was doing a cool handshake he did a cool handshake with the wheelchair shit. kid you're saying that kid's a shithead when he was in the wheelchair he was doing a crazy <laughs> handshake elaborate handshake <laughs> He spins the wheelchair around and he does, he does a, thing a fucking too. 360, 360 backflip yeah. in it. <laughs> what the fuck? So he's playing murder ball in the middle of a handshake. You're he not denying up, that he stands think? up and fully breaks down and denying. gets back in the chair and sits <laughs> That'd down. That'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but no, she's like, oh, I guess those are dudes that he's hanging Yeah, out but with. then why is she And then Ned on comes Ned? around the corner with all the geeks. Also, she has known Ned. Does. We find out this episode, or maybe is it next episode? Almost her entire life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why on earth does she think Ned being with these geeks is his normal group? His normal group is her yeah. and Cookie. It's true. If she was a good and person, you think she, then they would. It would be that would be if anything an eleven out of ten. Like she should it's be herself. like it's herself. Yeah, he hangs out. With she the should coolest. be like concerned for him. She yeah, be like, she's like, why is he hanging out with all these geeks suddenly? Also, she should probably know. Like Ned does weird shit. He's off the rails half the time. Yeah. He's on coke thirty five percent of the time. <laughs> like. Well, this is essentially... He was he, in the fucking closet with Gordy for how long, you know? For four hours. Yeah, you know they're doing cocaine in there. <laughs> he basically joined a cult. The geeks. And this is a horror story for that. Yeah. Or, was this kind of like supporting it, honestly. 
like sometimes you can join a cult, become super and efficient. And it works out. That's what happens to a lot of people that join Scientology. I feel maybe, like most of they the write maybe, books and then maybe, become famous. Maybe one percent of people that join Scientology are hype are Tom Cruise, and then they do very well. Ninety nine percent of the people and then the lose rest of everything them. they own, <laughs> the dude, and have a terrible life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fast talking dude from um, Don't Come After Us. From uh, like Ant Man and stuff. I don't know if you remember. You guys see Ant Man? I have nah, seen Ant Man. Nah. You know I watched all of them. I know. I just recently this remember year. Remember his fast talking friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He joined Scientology and suddenly he got all these like big Marvel roles and stuff. So interesting. In real life? Yeah. Yeah, that's a real life. Thing. No, that's no. He, he didn't did. Get Marvel roles. He's not in Scientology and Marvel. <laughs> they reference Scientology in the Marvel he's universe. He's just like he got, he joined Scientology and suddenly he's he's got all these big movie roles. I don't think I told you. I watched the uh, unreleased 1994 Fantastic Four movie. Unreleased? Yes, it's on YouTube as Is a rip. Shite? That's a VHS rip. Un. Uh, it's not finished edited. How was that? It was uh, pretty boring, <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like shit. <laughs> and it sounded like shit. Did they have a guy rock man? Uh, yeah, yeah, they did. Most of the budget ben, apparently was thing. spent on the thing, the thing, and um, does it look crazy? And Doctor Doom's costume. Yeah, that makes it sense. It looks pretty cool. Doctor Doom's awesome, but you can barely hear him because they never did the ADR for him because it never got that far in post. <laughs> so he's like real muffled, but he's always Where did you find? He's always this? moving his arms around. <laughs> Is this like on YouTube or something? Yeah, it's it's on YouTube, but I found it because I'm subscribed to the R slash Bad Movies subreddit. Ah. And it was on there, and people were like, where do you watch this? And they were like, it's on YouTube for free. And I was like, fuck, man, I'll give it a watch. I'll give it a watch, yeah. Shit, man. Shit. Sounds like a good time. I didn't watch the new bad one, so. I've, I, I've seen the original two, you know, in quotes, original two Fantastic Four from, like, Movies. the early 2000s. Yeah, those were fine. I didn't see the remake. No, the remake it. apparently was terrible. It was Miles they Teller in that? The, yes. The, the four? He was Mr. Fantastic. Miles Teller what? Was, Miles Teller was Mr. Fantastic. You tell Shut me your fucking mouth. <laughs> how was Did he, he have fucking gray sideburns? Yeah, how, he's Dude. not old enough for that. They were all like, like in they their twenties. George Clooney. All of them were in their twenties in it for some reason. Ugh. And is that, um, is that against lore? Yeah, I think so. Mister like Fantastic is is people? he's like I don't think he's old. He's, but in his he's 40s. definitely in his. Oh, he's in his forties. I was gonna say late thirties. Late thirties, early forties. Okay. How old is Ben Grimm? The thing. Similar age. I think he might S- be the like, same age because they're friends. They yeah. were friends, and he's at least in the they unreleased. Each other. He saved. Doctor Doom, who who they thought was dead and d- and ended up becoming Doctor Doom, it was because because him and Mister Fantastic were friends, science buddies. But then an experiment science went awry. Buddies. I don't think that's the case with. I don't know if that's technically lore because this was an unreleased movie. <laughs> Com- I don't think that's the. Ca- I don't think that's the case with comic Doctor Doom. I know Doctor Doom in comics was a scientist and his mom was a witch, so he did magic with science and then he went back to his. Are home we talking country. about true real magic? Yeah, Doctor Doom is the fucking man. Though. And then they he went back to like his home country and like became king and why, a dictator. Question: Why is his costume like one of the greatest costumes of all time? I don't know. The why? Because it's just a cloak with a mask. And but he's like wearing metal. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> he, the reason he won't take off the mask is because his he was like a little bit deformed and he put the mask on when it was still hot after forging it and it just fused to his face. Wait, are you talking about um, MF Doom or Doctor Doom? Doctor Doom. <laughs> MF Doom is. Obviously, the playoff of MF Doom. R.I.P. Yeah, rip. That was that was sad. I didn't it super was sad. enjoy his music, but that was sad. I think you should go back and re-edit um, no. what you gave his music because it's kind of disrespectful. Anyways, let's get back to Ned. Back to I'm gonna go pee in the middle of the pot. All right. <laughs> oh my god. We're talking about video games. You need to play less video games. You need to do more flashcards. More flash flashcard. Do you believe in flashcards? Yeah, flashcards were great in school. I was terrible at spelling. Do you Wait, think? Hold on. You, no, we didn't think- use flashcards for spelling. Well, whatever you use them for, do you always have a study buddy with a flash card? Uh, or usually, do you solo flash. You can solo flash, but I usually had a, a study buddy for those kind of things. Yeah, I mean what that's beneficial. You? you know, I did minimal, but I did some. I mean, sometimes it would be, you know, uh, yeah. I think that's a team. That's a team study sport usually. Absolutely, no. You want you got to have people to tell you that you got it wrong or burn. You got it wrong. Yeah. Right. Wrong. Wait. Hold on. Oh my god. Had you seen Super Cookie before? You mean pea cookie? He both actually. So Evelyn is dressed up like super pea cookie. Pea cookie, no. Super cookie, yes, but I don't think it was a recorded episode. I'm pretty sure I just remember super cookie from back in the day. Yeah, because he would break out that costume. He would break out the big trampoline. He would do um, stunts and whatnot. What would you say? What's the what's the guy? Evil Knievel mm, style mm-hmm. stunt, uh, stunts. Because 
Evelyn looks Evelyn looks sweet in that suit with the glasses. She looks she, good. And she pulls it off. She fucking is able to dunk. She jumps on the trampoline. She's like, all right, Cookie, I'll fucking do it, you fucking bitch. <laughs> that and is exactly runs, what she said. She runs at the trampoline and jumps and fucking, it's she a crazy. Jumps, and that's that crazy edit of just pushing in the JPEG of that last frame of her. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I it love was good. the JPEG jump. <laughs> and she dunks the ball. And then that's when Seth saves it. And he goes, what? What? Is that a chick dunking, dude? That, that chick dunks and she wears green. She's dunking. I do want to say I feel like <laughs> Seth um in these last like couple of episodes um looks like he's aged a lot. <laughs> he's maturing a little bit. Sure. He hit puberty. Sure. Yeah, and, yes. and like his hair changed. They were like they're like keep your hair the same and he's like I'm going to cut it shorter. And they're like don't. And then he's like, "Well, <laughs> what are you going to do replace blonde? me?" It wasn't the same though. They're not going to replace him in the last couple episodes. No, like, well, you could never replace him. I think the Seth. I think the hair is still on brand for him. I feel like he got dumber. No, he's always. He was been, asking how the water. He's gotten worked. smarter. He's always been insanely dumb. Oh, okay. He can't read. <laughs> Wait, what? There's been an arc where he couldn't read. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't remember that. Yeah, well, you weren't on that episode. <laughs> well, I mean, I watched go back the, and listen to all the Ned. Pod I did episodes. watch this show as a kid. Yeah, there was an arc. It was one where he did like a project with Moe's. How'd you think about Evelyn dunking the ball? It was sick. <laughs> what <do> you, <laughs> yes. What more do you want? <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. It was rad, and so, dude. And so back, I, I like that yeah. it um, that arc brought out um, all of his like different uh, personalities. You know, Pea I know. Was yeah, cool. they they brought back Pea Cookie, cookie, cookie and or at they least brought not back for not since I was a kid. I don't remember. Him. You never seen Pea Cookie? I remember Super Cookie. I don't remember Pea the cookie. music that goes along with it, where it's Pea ah. Cookie, Pea <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> I wonder if they just wanted to get more use out of that music track since they paid to have it made. And then the baddest they made it cool in house. Well, yeah, the they show. made it in house, but they still had to like pay someone to make it. So the it was sound, like, well, the sound mixers ain't got anything else going on. Actually, they probably they got the work cut out for them for this show. There's a lot they're of they're fucking putting stingers in at all times. Yeah, they have what? to pause it every two seconds. <laughs> they're queuing in. Stinger. They're like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what was happening. <laughs> They're like, we got to make this tight. We got to make this quick. Did you ever make a remix for the Pea Cookie song? No. Fuck, man. It's too you far. Have it you right did right? Cowboy Cookie and you did, uh, that's the only true remix. Or no, you did the In the Beans one. Yeah. It's we need the, the Pea Cookie remix that's for the, the last song. episode. We do need, we do need the <laughs> Pea Cookie one. I'll have to see what I can do. I don't see, know. <laughs> see what he can mix around. <laughs> it's going to be tricky because it's already a banger. It is already <laughs> an absolute slapping banger. <laughs> um, Damn. Yeah, so, I mean, back to Moe's. They go rate his wardrobe. Is he dressed like a fucking loser or is he dressed like the sickest kid on earth? Fabio was not dressed that He's good. He's I don't care. <laughs> He's Feyman. He's Fabio now. He's Feyman. Yeah, Feyman. <laughs> Fade man? Feyman. <laughs> yeah, he dresses like he buys all his clothes from Men's Express. It is Express-ish, for sure. Like Zara Express. Sort yeah, of um, I am not a fan of that look. I Neither. think he looked like a waiter. When he, I when think he, he looked terrible, like personally. He had like when when they when they when that question comes up, he walks up with a shirt that almost looks like it's almost snakeskin mm-hmm. print. It almost. is snakeskin. It was a terrible shirt, and it was tucked in or with croco a croco skin with a belt that buckle. Pa- oh, we one hundred percent have sold a dress at HSN with that pattern from that shirt. Trevor, of course. <laughs> they love patterns, animal patterns specifically at HSN. Snakeskin and leopard overlapping. Seen that before. Yeah, mixed animals. What it's called? Mixed animals. You know right. that. Mixed yeah. animal. You know it's called mixed animal. <laughs> Do you remember what the code is for that? It's seven a five. No, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna be real impressed. I was like, because I don't remember. No, I don't fucking. Kelsey remember. probably knows. Probably. There was this nerd kid that was in the background. When, so all the nerds, they're always huddled up. They're always a bunch mm-hmm. of mass of nerds, all with the same glasses. And there's this kid in the background that Coke was just glasses. fucking twitching, <laughs> season up. What was wrong with him? You think? He was too Aspergered out. I don't know. <laughs> there was something wrong with him. You can't say those words. I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> they, that's not even a medical thing anymore, I think. I think they took that yes, away. Yes, it is. It's no, medical. no, because... That's true. The no, Aspergers no, 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 no. is still a thing. Look it medical. up. Look it up. <laughs> we'll cut that out of the pod. <laughs> <laughs> pea cookie. <laughs> pea cookie. Let's talk more about pea cookie. Yeah. He's, it's got, he's got the sickest look in the land. He's basically Flavor Flav. What, what, what no, a, he's P. Diddy. Yeah. But he's got a... Did P. Diddy have a big? Shame? They all did, didn't they? I think that no, I think that he's like going off of like that one single music video, like with that he did with like it was like P. Diddy and Biggie, and they're like the 
It's impossible to explain. <laughs> more money, more problems. <laughs> hmm? I don't know which one. There's a lot we'll of look hypnotize. Up. Okay, what about her outfit, though, made him realize that he liked her? Like, up until that well, moment, she he was, was like, she's never going to be able to match this sick style. He didn't think she owned a tracksuit. Point the blank. The tracksuit is what did it. Yeah, tracksuit with glasses. Oh, because she, she maxed on his style. Yeah, because she was iced out more, you know, not ne- not more than him. Never mind. She was she was iced out. He was to the minimum. He was the most iced. And it was beautiful. It was great. Ultimately, she gets iced out with Seth. <laughs> <laughs> she ices him out, if anything. Yeah. It's not even that. It makes what? no <laughs> sense. She ices Cookie out. Yeah. Because Cookie comes crawling, she's like, "Oh, you kind." Cookie's like, "Oh, okay, that Evelyn's kind of fly out. now." Not, not the the jewelry iced out. No, the, no, like, no. We're mixing metaphors now. Like cold, like cold hearted, like yeah, stone she, cold she's, bitch. She's, I don't want anything to do with you. Fuck ice. you. You made me take a test. Ice Ooh. shoulder. Fuck you. The cold shoulder. She's like, I'd rather be with this baller motherfucker over here. This guy. <laughs> Elsa, this blonde lion from Frozen, He's hung like a fucking horse. <laughs> Imagine how big Seth. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Middle That's what school she says. Seth. That's what she, <laughs> she goes, Cookie, you don't understand. <laughs> Look at how big his dick is, and they just cut to like the, the, the Cookie's outline like, on the tracksuit. Oh, that would be a really good edit. <laughs> you don't fucking get it, Cookie. <laughs> wow. Why did they do this? Oh God. And that's when I wrote nerds fuck underlined. There you go. Well, they do sometimes. Well, if you have a nerd friend group and you got nerd girls and nerd boys and they're all doing nerd shit together, eventually they're, they're going to start to do. That's ba- From what I was told in high school, that's banned. I think a lot of the people that we knew in band would beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> the people I talked to in band were like, no, everyone in band has had sex with each other. Only the cool kids in band. Them in theater. I mean, I don't know. You were in jazz band. I don't know if you have any insider knowledge. I wasn't a part of any of that. I was purely <laughs> academic. You weren't musical. a part of a sex cult. <laughs> I was there for the love of the sport. Get in the comments. AKA just like just Let ripping us on your guitar in the pit, <laughs> not knowing what the music was. <laughs> Following along. They were like, sounds good enough. <laughs> so they so Ned passes all of his classes. All yeah, apparently. He po- they post all the test scores in the hallway. Yeah, so you brought up anime tropes. <laughs> That is an anime trope. Explain. 100%. They publicly post everyone's test scores in the hallway so people can know who's number one and who should get shamed for being bad at school. Why would you want to shame? That seems crazy. And that's also Wait, a trope. Wait, shame motivates. Shame does or motivate. Or it destroys. <laughs> Probably mostly causes trauma. It mostly destroys, I would assume. But it could motivate. So yeah. they go off of that that small, but yeah, that's a big thing in anime. Like, like it they does. post it's like, did I pass? Or like they look and it's like, oh, I I'm not to go even, to the wall. Oh, I'm not there. I don't see my name. And then teacher comes over. It's like your test score was so good we couldn't put it on the board. And it's like, Dang. what? But regardless, I did just <laughs> watch the movie Belfast, which was nominated for Best Picture this past year. Um, I watched it on the plane. It was it was fine. I've never um, heard of it <laughs> once. But is it, it about Ireland? Yes, but um, I knew it. uh. In the movie, um, they the little kid who's the main character, the little boy, he uh, in his class they like whoever gets the better grade on the test or whatever gets moved up to the front of the class, and it's ranked. It's a ranked system. So like, for, so like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, because it's two rows. There's like eight kids in the class. <laughs> so like as you go along. You know, you can see specifically, like visually, who's smart and who's, who's smarter dumb. than the other. Yeah, that's so that, that's what made me think of that. Tormenting. It's like it's a very fucked up thing. Because this up. kid wants in the movie, he wants to get a better grade so he can sit next to the girl that he likes. But like, you're seeing these kids get moved to the fucking back of the class like losers. <laughs> like, wait, does the chick stay at the front? Yeah, smart bitch. She's <laughs> smart as hell. Well, she's Catholic. What? Because it's sense. the Ireland, it's the like oh, she's Protestant. An Irish Catholic it's lassie. the Protestant versus the Catholic thing. Are there are there dirty and Protestants he's a Protestant, in the he's a Protestant family, so that's where the divide is. Oh, <laughs> like Romeo and Juliet. The movie was kind of boring. Not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna be moved by it more. I was like, if it's black and white. It's nominated for Best Picture. It's probably gonna be good. I was like, I was on the airplane. They're like, do you like the band? Do you like the band? You too. 
Abby was in a different row than me because it was a last second ticket. So I was like, this movie's kind of boring, right, guys? And there's like <laughs> two strangers on each side of me. I was in the middle seat. Did they say, did they say like, yeah, it is? Like they've been watching with No, the time. other lady was watching some sort of show I'd never seen in my goddamn life on her phone. And then the other person was falling asleep. Every time they leaned at me, I was like, please do not lean on me. It's like, this is the last thing I want. <laughs> yeah, you're watching an Irish drama. Yeah, and then I watched a fucking Studio Ghibli movie. Oh, which one? Ghibli. I watched... Um, uh, Howl's Moving Castle. Fucking great movie. It was a good one. It was way better than My Neighbor Totoro. That's fair. My Neighbor Totoro has no plot. <laughs> and it's boring. Howl's Moving Castle has a very good plot. It has a good plot. And I the, feel like Hazel is Billy, Totoro. did you watch it dubbed? I uh, yeah, I did watch it dubbed. Billy Crystal is the fire, I know. man. It was great. It's so good. <laughs> My review of it on Letterboxd was like, I'm a stan of whatever his name is. Billy Crystal? <laughs> yeah, no, the character. Oh, the fire. Oh, God. Yeah. Um... But anyway, oh, I forget the show that we're watching. What are we like an hour in, and we've barely talked about the show? That's me. I'm. I'm I love to derail. No, this happens every time we do. Uh, it. No, so no, no. It's more when Trevor's next episode. <laughs> it's only Trevor. <laughs> Ned Should nerds up. Blah blah blah. First choice. Understand subjects. Uh, Ned says you try to understand subjects more than just like memorize facts. It's like okay, easy, easier said than done. Ned, fine, whatever. And he goes, go with your first choice. A multiple choice question. Go with your gut. Go with your first choice. Go or, with your nut. Or choose C. He right. doesn't say that. He doesn't say he that, should've. but he should have. Well, he is right about going with your gut. Anyone still in school on here? Go with your gut. It's almost always right. We definitely have people still in school. Don't listen to our foul language. <laughs> Go with your Censor nut. Censor that yourself. Because <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Damn. Come on, man. He says, take a week to be a geek. Yeah. Take a week and be a geek for a week. That's actually you know not what terrible advice. Great advice because yeah. most of my studying came in the, in like the days before tests. Yeah. Basically, and I think that's how it mostly goes. That's how I mostly went. For Who me, are yeah. you if you're like fucking studying just for the hell of it? For the it really for, is for just the thrill of the learn. It's for procrastinate cram advice. Middle middle school, like elementary, middle, and high school, absolutely. In college, I definitely was learning all the way through, and then. Didn't I didn't really review very much before tests. I was learning all the way through they college. They weren't that hard to test, though. No, they weren't. <laughs> we did a lot of hands-on shit in college, to be fair. I mean, like those for, courses, yes. I'm talking about my other courses. So, like, I'm well. learning for that, but, like, right. I mean, for my history classes and shit, because I did a history outside concentration, I was studying for that shit. Yeah, I did a film outside concentration. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't... I like history, so it wasn't that hard, yeah. you know? I just like... I, I retain that knowledge easily. You wrote some sweet essays. And I and I, you know, in quotes, read some books. <laughs> nah, I had vampires in cinema Bro, outside. And that I was fucking a led. Course. I led a, a like a, a discussion in one of my classes of a book that I read a third of. <laughs> I read the first third of the book, and I didn't read any more. <laughs> That is like how much book And you I need. did great. Got a B. <laughs> that's about as much of a book that you need. Like, that's enough to get a gist of the... you need to read the first third and then the last two pages. So here's the I thing. I think I did that. No, here's what it is. It's like as soon as you tell someone I'm reading a book about XYZ, that's when you can stop reading well, the book. Well, I was leading discussion, so I had topic points... And then I was bouncing that bitch off, you know? You can talk about the gist of the subject without reading the whole book. I don't know. I honestly don't actually know what I got, but I know I passed all my classes. I did, I did pretty well in, in history. <laughs> Yeah, you're you like history. You're good at history. You know, it's fun to just look at Wikipedia articles. I feel like that's what me and Kirk thrive at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wikipedia articles are solid. <laughs> and they're true. Any of you haters out there against Wikipedia, fuck you. <laughs> so yes, Ev is now Seth's Bay. Ned gets zero points on Moses' boyfriend quiz. Zero. Yeah. Because he wasn't Ned, he was Den. Den she, she was grading him as Den. That's that's very true. Who I think was a pretty cool guy, even though he laughed bad. He he laughed eccentrically. <laughs> he had Why the did nerd he have laugh. To laugh like a geek? He wasn't <laughs> changing his personality. He was just. It's like a mental thing, you know. I guess. It's like insane. when you get in that zone. He was method acting. It's a mental illness. Now you're onto something. Method acting. <laughs> method acting is a mental illness. That's true. <laughs> Ask Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> or uh, doesn't uh, Shia do that? Isn't Shia? I believe well, Shia is one of the greatest actors of our lifetime, but people won't give him the props. That he and uh, I'm pretty sure Morbius, he was method acting. Are you talking about uh, Jared Leto? Yes. Jared Leto, I just watched uh, House of Gucci, and he was pretty good in that. Oh, okay. That's people good. hate on Jared Leto a lot, but well, why, why I've heard Morbius he was, is terrible. Because he was so. Morbius? He was Morbius. He, was he, he said, it's Morbin time. <laughs> it is, in <laughs> he fact. Was the, uh, he got the titular beat. character. 
Morbius. He was. I know that. Who I loves seen to morb? I haven't seen it either. It's not even he MCU. He morbs all over the place. It's a Marvel movie that's not canon. How does that make any sense? That's Marvel Morbi. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a Sony Marvel property. Yeah, but I'm still confused Just like Spider-Man. as to how that works. And they tied it yeah, in. Yeah, but that's canon, though. No, they I tied it into Spider-Man, but then they also didn't. Wait, does Morbius eat Spider-Man? No. He fucks him. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure... I he didn't, sucks him off. Like I said, at the end of the movie, I'm pretty sure I saw... The, like, Or I didn't it's watch it. It's morbid time. And he but they like show something Spider-Man about... Sick. Spoiler for Morbius. They show something about like the big convergence event that happens in the, the Bro, we Spider-Man can't talk movie. about this. This is not good. Okay. What do you mean? We can I'm talk about it. I'm kidding. You got to no. become a Marvel head. No, go ahead. No, I'm just kidding. I'm done. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> I don't actually give a shit. Morbius sucked. I heard. I'm st- I'm I'm snagging a beer. I should I watch Morbius. You finished another one? I should watch Morbius. Two? Should I'm I? Watching it. I'm gonna watch it. I put almost all that. We need to watch it together Jake. then, because it's a meme. I might as well if you're getting another one. We can't let this whole thing fall apart. We have to keep it going. We have to keep <laughs> train rolling. Yeah, don't fucking stand up. I'm not gonna stand up. That's why. I'm not standing up. I'm asking you to get me. We're gonna have to get into rate. We're gonna no, no, no. I just got another one, but we're gonna have to get into ratings here soon. Okay. So start stewing that in your mind. We haven't we haven't done the second half of the episode yet. Yet. You rate the first half. Oh, we do it by halves. I forget. It's been. We didn't rate the no. We didn't rate the first half. We got. That's what I mean. I didn't realize we rated half. So I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. But we didn't start the second half yet. Actually, you know what? No, I forgot that because last episode I was almost a two parter, so we didn't have halves really to rate. Well, this episode is also a two-parter. It's but it's more divided, I feel like. It is more divided because we got tests. First half? Should I rate it now? Yeah, you can start your rating process. You I'll wanna... let you guys go first. No, I'll... you go. You're As the, the guest. guest, I have to go first? Oh, you shit. need to go first. I, didn't, I don't have one. Um, you gotta, yeah, you got to come up with it. I'll give this a solid 8 out of 10. Wait, is it out of 10 on this podcast? Yeah, it's out of 10 weasels. 8 out of 10 weasels. As... They gave some pretty solid advice about test taking, and I don't know. We get to, we're finally getting to see like the start of the like. Well, for me at least, I like seeing this like will they, won't they of uh, Mose and Ned. You know, that's pretty nice to see that. Yeah, it definitely continues the tease, the, the relationship tease drama. <laughs> slash dr- dramatic irony. I opened mine away from the microphone. I did it into the mic. <laughs> I should. I'll open mine into the mic. Um, what are you rating? It? What did you give it? I didn't rate it yet. <laughs> You're waiting for me. <laughs> I think. What did you give it, Trevor? Uh, you don't need to know. You gave an eight out of ten, right? I think I heard. Yeah, he did. You know what? It's a tough one. Like. I'm honestly lost as to what I give it because it furthers the plot, which is what I, I love. But I honestly have no gut reaction. Six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving it a six out of ten? I'll give it a six and a half. I'm going to go... Eight. I'm going eight out of ten. Hey! Whoa. It's a true rating. Listen. Okay, so what... We can't reach each other, but... Um, what this episode provides in its in its story driving nature is all I needed. That's fair. The minus two is on the lack of crubs and the lack of decent episodal uh, episodic plot. Episodal. I feel like there wasn't a lot of laugh out loud. Yeah. I wasn't laughing out loud, but I was fucking engrossed in the plot line. I was engrossed That's in the plot. This one also didn't have anything that was too crazy of like a. Just say something plot line. It was a Those are the ones that drive you crazy. Yes. Ha. Huh. Which is almost all content on TV. <laughs> so many problems could be solved if people would just fucking talk to each other. People are like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to be confrontational. It's like true. Say the thing. Usually people appreciate that. Yeah. It's true. Sometimes they stop talking to mm-hmm. you, but most of the time they appreciate Rip. it. Alright, I'll give it a seven. Six and a half was harsh. <laughs> but <laughs> he's re-rating. <laughs> but so I think six and a half was too harsh. I think it was. I it think was too harsh. Fair. Seven's fair. Because if you think back at some of the six point five episodes we've given, forget about most fucking worse, episodes. There's been worse episodes. <laughs> there's been a lot worse episodes. But yeah, no crubs. Weak Gordy. No Loomer. No coconut. 
Yeah, Coco's in the next one. Yeah. And Heavy Gordy in the that's next true, part. That's true, that's true. But I feel like when Coconut Head is a part of just the Coco. nerd... When he's just a part of the nerd horde... It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't even count. It doesn't even fucking make any but sense. But is he good count as cool? Coconut like, is, is Coconut Head smart? I forget. No, he's dumb. Then why is he? He's an idiot. <laughs> Like Ned is dumb, Coconut Head is dumb. <laughs> Why is he in the nerds? The same level <laughs> because of dumb. He's, Wait, he because wasn't he's the, weird. <laughs> he wasn't Curly with the nerds. He was just trying to get with the girl. He wasn't with the nerds. He is. He is just trying to. He's trying to lay Z. He's a horn dog. Yeah. yeah, but he's among the nerds. You know, we went to school with someone who looks exactly like Coconut Head. I feel like you told me about this. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> I'll tell you off my <laughs> I feel like I remember you tell, talking to me about this. The hair is not the same, but I feel like his face looks the same. <laughs> okay. The hair is the most important part. <laughs> it is kind it's of also the most important aspect. But yeah, part so two. So he looks like Pinky the DJ. Part two is actually titled When You Like Someone Who Is Going Out With Someone Else. Yeah. Been there many times. Yeah, Trevor, talk to us about a little bit about this because your life re- revolves around this scenario. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> did this episode speak to you deeply? <laughs> yes. About high school, mostly. Shoot. You um, were kind of a cool guy in high school, though. No, I was a slinger, huge loser in high school. No, you were on the Powderpuff squad. You were Han Solo. I did, I did, I did do Powderpuff. Only cool kids did that. No, I was cringe as fuck in high school. <laughs> I thought about some shit I did in high school, like, yesterday, like, late at night, just randomly, and I was like... Oh, I just like hated it. You like, know what, what I kind haven't of stuff seen? did you think about? Was what I haven't seen and what it. I All need right. to see is your high school yearbook photo. That's probably fine. I One look, day we'll get that on the pod. I look more or less similar than I to, to, to now as I did then. I didn't I haven't changed very much. I could see that. Yeah, I could see that too. Um, <laughs> you look more manly now, though. You've got Hell, a chiseled sure. chin. You've got. I think my Facebook profile photo. No, no, it is my college graduation photo. <laughs> but the one before that was. Yeah, my you got to update gradu- that motherfucker. You haven't changed it in fifteen years. <laughs> you know how many pictures I've taken of you, Trevor? You've taken me a lot. Taken a update lot of photos. Update that bitch. You. Ninety percent of my dating profile photos were taken by you. <laughs> <laughs> so You're this, my son. So this episode starts, Gordy. And uh, Ned both. Well, Ned with Gordy are spying on Moe's. Yes. Gordy is the ultimate wingman. He is. And I, I and also that. not, though. I, I wrote down put Gordy a wingman. fist up for the Gordster. He's better in this half. Wait, listen. Fist up and then fist down, though. He has more to do in this half. Fist down because he he does good by Ned by going to ask Moe's. But then... He's going to knock that candle over. The heck should, are you doing should I get there? the cat? I think she's turning it around. <laughs> she's second <laughs> guessing it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I think that was off. That camera. shook. That whole shelf shook. No, Anyways, it's fine. you're gonna want to bolt that to the wall. Gordy's great for going to talk to Moe's and being like, "Yeah, like, do you like Ned?" And then she admits it, and then not saying anything to Ned or her whenever he knows that they both like each other. Gordy At is so point, high you... on amphetamines, like he. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, but also you're a bra- like. You can. I feel like that's a justifiable break the promise scenario of don't tell her that I like her because what if she doesn't like me back? She does. So tell her or tell him. Yeah, he definitely could have. That would have. Like, they the stipulation made sense for the scenario. Yes. Like don't. But now the scenario is no longer active. So, yeah. well, because she's like she's like listen, I like him. But you can't say anything unless he doesn't like me. But they just had a four-hour conversation about how <laughs> Ned liked yeah, yeah, Moe's. Yeah. Also, because their history is so deep. More anime tropes. Childhood friend. She, Moe's is girl the girl next door. Moe's that's, is the girl that's next door. That's a huge... An, well, girl next door is a big thing. That's not girl. anime. That's no, life, But the childhood bitch. friend thing is a big anime Hugh trope. Hefner? Okay? Anytime there's like a girl that's in like the, the group E-network? of girls that are the possible ones, all the other girls are like, oh shit, she's the childhood friend. She's got a massive up on the rest of us. Among the girls? Yeah. Whenever there's, there's thirsty girls? This is harem shows for the most part. Harem shows. <laughs> I think that goes into Western culture, it though, does, too. Because, like, st- Abby has made jokes about that with, like, people that I've known since my childhood, oh, too. Oh, childhood friend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, that is a trope. And she that's doesn't watch anime. Very prevalent. Yeah. I, I Yeah. I, I believe that. You haven't showed us those shows yet on Show Me Something? You haven't watched I've, the harem show? I have avoided the harem shows. Trevor I think has tre- taken so long to show us anime on Show Me Something that I've literally watched anime on my own. That is not... And you make me sick because of that, because you've turned me into a disgusting person. Good. <laughs> I think you, you should... You gotta watch a- the cyberpunk anime. It's really good. Oh, 
no, no, no. The next anime that you bring should be harem based. I could bring my go to harem show. I'll probably Whatever the best one it. is. Yeah, probably. It's bad, but it's where my waifu is from. I hated Oran <laughs> High School Host Club. That was the worst show of that all time. That is a time. reverse harem show, to be fair. It was the worst show of all time. That's a girl and a bunch of guys. Wow. Instead of a guy and a bunch of girls. Kirk, what a, that show made what me, a different fantasy. <laughs> Kirk, that show literally made me want to quit podcasting. <laughs> wow. It like did. for good. It on did. all platforms. It wasn't fun to talk about. <laughs> it made me want to die. <laughs> That's it was crazy. great. That, we had a guess for that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Uh. Susie's gone. I like Moe's. Susie's gone and I like Moe's. That's what Gordy wants Ned to say. Yes. Which yeah. I guess now makes more sense in a, at, a, at a later. Yeah, well, they're foreshadowing. They for are sure. foreshadowing for sure. Yes. Um, also, Lisa in the cookie plot line booked up like a motherfucker. You called her a slut. <laughs> no, I called her a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, we called her a slut and a whore. I think. <laughs> she well, she's got her calendar full of dates with just a a cloud of nerds. Including cu- uh, Coconut Head. Countless. You usually almost call him Coconut Head. <laughs> he is Coconut Head. <laughs> and then who is the other kid? Quirly. Yeah. Squirrely. No, he's Martin he's Quirly. Squirrely. <laughs> he is Squirrely, though. Where the hell's Randy Jackson? He should be in that cloud. Who? He should be. Randy Jackson. He's a kid who we don't know his name is, but at one point he parodied Randy Jackson. He so portrayed. he is forever known as Randy Jackson. I was going to say, he's talking about... Yes. American Idol judge, yeah, Randy Jackson. Yeah, they did a parody. They did a of, Randy that's Jackson not appropriate thing. for him to be going after middle schoolers. No, well. it was a kid who he parodied, parodied him. him. Okay. <laughs> Where is Randy Jackson? I don't know, man. They got all these. Where other... is Randy Jackson? <laughs> they got like a, a pile of other nameless fucks. Yeah, fucking loser number one, loser number two, dickhead one, dickhead two, thing one, thing two. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, so, I mean, Cookie's. He walks up. He, he, to his credit, he walks right up to Lisa herself, and he gets all the other guys to shut the fuck up. And he's like, "Can I go out with you sometime?" And she's like, "I can get you next month, at the at the fucking soonest, soonest it can be, bitch." And all the other guys are like, "Yeah, we get her before you." Yeah. Well, at first she kind of tricks him. She's like, "Yeah, we can do Friday, the seventeenth of next fucking month, of bitch." Next month. Yeah. It was the seventeenth. It makes me sick. She's trying to play. Also, with next him. month would be summer vacation. And also, what the fuck is the point, man? But we know that she gets I'm off. sick of it. No, Cookie can pull harder. I Hand to heart. Cookie can do better. Yeah. Evelyn was a better match, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he didn't... Uh, <laughs> just smack the mic into my mouth. It just, it just comes out to, I guess, what he's into. I, 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 I don't he likes know nerds. I get that. Yeah. But, but no, no, no. I think he likes... But, 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 but Lisa's not a nerd. No, she's not. Well, she was. She is she, in her heart of hearts. She's a nerd. He doesn't like her. In her heart of hearts. When she's a nerd, he doesn't Which like her. Is yeah, where he fucked he's up. Shallow as hell. He is shallow. He's a shitty person. The movie Shallow like Hell. Like me in high Jack school. Black. That movie stars Cook. It does. You yeah. were shallow in high school? I was a shitty person in high school. What were you doing? Let's not talk about it on the podcast. We'll talk about it off mic. I was a shitty. I was like thinking back. It's like, man, I was an I bet asshole. You, you probably weren't that bad. <laughs> You're probably fine. You're probably very normal for your age. Yeah, probably. But also at times, like, man, I was an asshole. You could have been like us and been um, celibate <laughs> by choice. <laughs> I was. Oh, <laughs> through college. <laughs> you not remember talking about this? At one point, it cuts to uh, Gordy. Catholic guilt is real, man. <laughs> Oh, that's why it, caught, it cuts the Gordy and Ned, and uh, Gordy's plunging the uh, wall. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, what's he doing? Well, he's he was trying to be... around. He's doing nothing. He was, like, pretending to do work while they were spying on Moe's. How many opiates is he on at that oh, So many. <laughs> at least three kinds. <laughs> he's on some shit that they don't even make anymore. Quaaludes? Quaaludes. <laughs> <laughs> he probably had Quaaludes left over. He probably did. He was 40. 40 Gordy. Gordy's 40? How yeah, Gordy, forty, forty, Gordy. Oh shit! Yeah, he's What's always. What's that guy doing him? now? He's he does a lot of voice work. Darren Norris. That's what he's primarily. That's what he always does. That's, that's his bread Darren and butter. Norris. Yeah, he was in Fairly Odd Parents, right? Yeah, his. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he sounds just like Cosmo because he is Cosmo. He's Cosmo. Um. Yeah, his bread and butter is voice work. I think he continues to do Nickelodeon voice work. I'd love to see him in the next like big dramatic Naughty Dog title. 
I'd love to see him. I'm going to say he's proudly not associated with Schneider. <laughs> I think we are all not associated with Schneider. Fuck Schneider. Um, I haven't read uh, Jeanette McCurdy's book yet, but I want to. We should do a book club. It's on my list. I really <laughs> want to read that book. Wait. She really fucking lays into them. They yes. like tried to pay her off to not publish that book. That's going to have some good fucking That's going to have some good shit. We should... That would be she good. Hate, she, like, That'd be yeah. a good pod. She said in interviews and stuff how she like would not wish child stardom on anyone. Maybe that'll be the ever. first uh, just Harbor Boys pod where we talk about general Nickelodeon stuff but the first ep is the Jeanette McCurdy's book, I'm Glad My Mom Is Dead. That's what it's called. I'm I didn't not know saying it was that called about that. I'm not, I'm not saying that about my own mother. I love her. No, <laughs> your a mom's hardcore great. Title. I didn't know that was the name of the book. Yeah. I mean... Cool. Fair. Apparently her mom was a terrible person. I mean, people do have terrible mothers at times. Annie, come Mine here. is great. Love you, mom. Shout yeah. out. Yeah. Shout out all of our moms. <laughs> Shout out to the moms. I saw Kirk's mom today for a haircut. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you got your haircut today? I did. It looks good. Thank you. My hair was very long. My beard was long. I hadn't seen you in a long time, but I was fucking shaggy as fuck. I saw you at work and you were, I guess, a little shaggy. Yeah. That was weeks ago. It was weeks ago. It's been a while. Kirk, bring us back to the pod. <laughs> Gordy really does act as a as a wingman this episode. He's Cupid. They make the allusion to it multiple times. Yes. They well, do. he says, I'm not, multiple times, and then at the very end. He tries he, to deny it. He doesn't use the bow and arrow, which I guess, you know. He uses a slingshot. Well, the bow and arrow is copyright. True. No. <laughs> Thank you. No. You already heard the man. He said true. It's not true. <laughs> Cupid's like an ancient Greek, I think, thing. So, yeah, he's like, this is when he's going, like, Ned yes. talks to him, right? We said he talks to him for eight hours, blah, blah, blah. Then he goes over to Moe's. Moe's is like, oh, don't tell him unless he knows that don't I don't Unless he him. likes me, too. Don't tell him I like and him. Then Mo, and then Gordy just fucking one ear, you know, in one ear, out the other. He's like, where's the next hit? Where's well, the next he hit of drug that I can get? Ultimately, he doesn't care. He wanders off. because I mean, only, ultimately, I think he does, but he's like, he's too... He's he like, cares there's who these promises. He cares in the way that Ned is his son. And he needs to figure his own shit out. <laughs> Ned is trying to get his own son laid. Laid. And that's respectable. He's like a dirtbag dad. I mean, you know. He's a dirtbag dad. DVD. He's, he's a dirtbag. He's a drunk drug addict dad who dirtbag really Cupid. wants the best for his kid, but is just fucking up constantly. Yeah. He's it's a bad kind of Santa. Beautiful. Yeah. I still got to see that movie. Do we ever meet Ned's parents in this show? We hear of his mom. We never hear of his dad. That's why we have the theory that Gordy's his dad. Maybe that's oh, why he took he, the job as a janitor to get closer to his son. That's a theory. I haven't actually heard that theory. That's new. That I just, Our, yes, did I just that's come up a with brand that? new theory. That I just. But also, you heard it here first, folks. Gordy Susie is Ned's also, dad who took the job to get closer to his son. Susie also the child of a single mother family household. Well, Susie, also no, Gordy dad. She though? has a mom. But the, her, no, her and her dad. mom went and chased her dad in Vegas, and maybe it worked out because now they're moving back because of the dad's job. The dad was a deadbeat. Spoiler for the end of the episode. We think that the <laughs> dad job thing, though, that was a cover. It was a cover up for her dad. Her dad was cheating. He was addicted to gambling. He was a drunk. He was a drug addict. Yeah. And he was spending all his time at the Bunny Ranch in Vegas. He was also a furry. So what you Have don't you realize is he her dad furry. is actually David Blaine, and that's while he was. Um, he had his residency in Vegas. That's actually kind of badass. Which is apparently ending. She does kind of look like Dave Blaine. Not gonna lie, her dad got dark hair. David <laughs> Blaine. The only thing. They followed him to Vegas, and then he got a better gig in California doing street magic or something. That's impossible. Sometimes you're not ready to be a full boyfriend or a full girlfriend. Sometimes you have to be a vice boyfriend okay. or a vice girlfriend. Terrible <laughs> advice. That's what Ned says. It's the most nonsensical advice. Ned says, when they're in a relationship, when you're crush, they're in a relationship with someone else, you slide in next to them. You go, hey, how you been? I'm not trying to like, let's be, a, let's like be platonic friends a little bit. Hey, how you doing? Don't, yeah, yeah. don't do this. I did this in high school. Terrible idea. Did you really? How did he basically go? tells you to friend zone yourself, right? I more or less did, and but she also just <laughs> like it didn't work at all. And then I had another one of those scenarios where it kind of went down, where okay, we were both single, and then she introduced me to her friend, and so I took that as her not liking me. And then after I went out with her friend, and it didn't work out because I didn't like her very much. 
she was like, oh, well, I did like you, but I was nervous about it. So I introduced you to my friend. And now that you've gone out with her, I can't go out with you. I'm like, fuck you. What? Yeah. High school sucks. Is that a rule? It was a rule for her, apparently. Damn. Yeah, she didn't want to mix. That's an ironclad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like like Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, I went to high school with Margaret Thatcher. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, I've never heard of such a thing. A vice girlfriend or boyfriend. I think it's. So when I first heard the term, I've never heard it that sounded term more fucked up than I think that he meant it to be. Yeah, I think he meant it to be like waiting in the wings, being like a nice guy. It's kind of creepy, though. Still. But also it's, don't. It's, it's still a scumbag, a little yeah, bit creepy. Thing I to took do. it like it's I, fine. All's fair in love and war. I don't even know how I took it originally, but it's it's just a horrible name. You still for shouldn't it. do it. Yeah, just don't. Because like, calling just, yourself the boyfriend. I'm going to be your vice boyfriend. In any context, it's, unless yeah, you are, yeah, it's, is yeah. weird. Up. Like, that's that's stalker issue. territory of, like, I'm the vice boyfriend. I'll be there when the regular boyfriend dies. She doesn't know it, but I'm the vice boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, even the stuff, like, at work when people yeah, say, exactly. like, when people say, like, they're, like, your work work wife or work husband. That's weird. Uh, I still yeah, think it's weird. weird. I think it's weird regardless. I got assigned and one at my last job before working at HSN. I got really? assigned a work wife. I'm like, this is weird. It's a weird thing. Like, I played along with it to not, like, rock the boat, but I was like, this is weird. Yeah. None of them was. I hope none of them. I don't care. Who assigned it? Some just random other person? Some random other person. I think it... She sucked. I think more often than not, it happens with single people, Wait, she assigned herself as your work wife? Mm Mm-mm. Okay. No. That'd be crazy. Someone always does it for them. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. It has to be third party. I would hope so. She was annoying, so... Because if 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 it's themselves... Then there's something weird going on, and they probably like you, and it's yeah. probably a fucked up scenario. 100%. What'd you say? 100%. <laughs> yeah. So uh, another yeah. tip. Um, so yeah, don't do that. Real quick. Don't be a vice. Just move on. Yeah. And if it's meant to happen, it'll happen eventually. You'll both maybe be single in the future, and then you can make it happen. But And avoid a work husband, work wife scenarios. Always lead with your ring. You don't have a ring. I don't have one on, but <laughs> he does. Don't come on too strong if you're trying to get with someone. That's that's just that is decent advice. That's, that's a great tip advice. From Ned. Don't come on Straight too strong. Straight from the mouth of Ned. Trevor, you're a dater. Do you take that advice? I try to. It's dating sucks. You just went on a date the other day. I did. did I just you know guessed. that. No, was I that, guessed. Was that a first? <laughs> I was like, did I tell you about that? Was I that guessed. a first date? It was a first date. Wow. How'd uh, it go? It was fine. This we're probably not like nothing clicked. Why is it always terrible? It wasn't terrible. I've had terrible <laughs> ones. The girl from Don't work was terrible. The the one oh I what? shouldn't have said that. You said at work? <laughs> there was that one girl from work and that yeah, was terrible. Yeah, there's a whole scenario about that. Um, we can't get into it on the pod. That's off mic stuff. The one the, from the other day, it was like it was nice, but nothing clicked, so it's just gonna be like I'm probably never speaking to her again. You don't think you could get some ass out of the situation? Not in that one. All right, I'm not trying to be crass. Yeah, don't. <laughs> not trying to be crass. Listen, I can he tell. He is crass. <laughs> Hazel, come sit over here. Dating sucks. So yeah, rip. <laughs> Sorry. Don't Loser. come on too strong. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Moe's. <laughs> ah yes, Feynman. Feynman comes to Moe's. He goes, "Hey, I got on the national science, uh, the, the national soccer the team of Brazil. The Brazilian national soccer team. The yes. Brazilian baby boy club. Fabio." I finally got my thing. He's like, he's very excited. Where's know? his dad? You think his dad would be there front and center? His dad's like, Feynman, you're playing the his goddamn the stinking game. It. No, his dad, his dad is a is a fucking. He's in, works in the government. I think oh, his really? dad wants him to work in like international politics. Monetary his dad policy. works for fucking Bolsonaro, dude. Okay, because yes. I assume Fabian. He's like, you will Feynman. not be a soccer Feynman. player. Fabian is a person I think I actually know. Who won that election, by the way? Because Brazil just had an election. I think Feynman won. Whoever did Bolsonaro win or did the lady <laughs> Feynman win? Feynman won. Feynman won. Fabio won. So you haven't followed it is what you're telling me. <laughs> Kirk, I take you as an international politics man. No, no, um, no. They do what they do. <laughs> uh, Italy just elected a fascist, apparently. Oh, cool. Yeah. They've never done that before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, second, tire, th- second or third time's a charm. <laughs> you know, maybe this time fascism will go well. It's he's probably not that. Time. He's probably... Oh, it's a lady fascist. Yeah. It's got to go well this time. We'll see. <laughs> and Feynman asked Mose, do you want me to leave? Do you want me to stay? Her, should she I should stay not have taken, or should I go? She should singing? not have taken that long, especially when she phrased it as, so you're trying to pick between me 
and a ball? And he said yes. And, and I, I, so I think that there are multiple parties wrong in the situation. Right. I think that she was wrong in phrasing it like that. Yeah. Yes. Because like that is his like he's playing for a national team. Yes. But also they've been dating for less than a week. Officially, in quotes. Because yes. They have been dating before this. It feels like they've it's been, been dating. Okay. They haven't been official for even a week. And you're in middle school? Yeah. Well, you you're know, gonna, you're you gonna know gonna how pick. it is, though, because, like, your life can only really... Like, when you're in middle school, that is reality. So, like, yes. that feels so official. But even you know? then... And he's a heavy, high-level middle schooler. National... And he's got a huge Soccer dick. team. <laughs> he's he the son of the president of Brazil. Yes. Bolsonaro. He's... A political dynasty and a soccer prodigy. How, and yet, how are you so lucky right now? I'm just... Why isn't Pip like <laughs> Get this? a fucking cat, dude. I want a dog. Get a small no, dog, no, then. No, you live no. in an apartment, you can a have a small dog. dog. I want a big dog. Well, you're fucked, then. Yeah, exactly. I need a house. Um, But, okay, so... Stop moving to Florida. <laughs> please. God damn it. I can't afford a home. Us... Honorable Floridians beg you. It was actually the junior national soccer team. Regardless, it's the national. But it's still a national team. Junior. Don't junior me. <laughs> you know that's just where they he was. What position do you think he is? You think he's a forward? Is he a fucking midfielder? With that shirt, he's I a forward. I don't know any soccer you think he's a striker? positions. He, he's with a striker. Yeah, he's, with that shirt, he's a striker. He's no, he's no goalie. No, he's got too much flair. You think he's a fucking striker, He's got dude? too much flair to be a, not be a striker. Shout out Will. He's one of those Maybe guys. we can clip this just for Will. <laughs> he's one of those guys that like. He can't watch this episode. <laughs> We've already talked shit about him. <laughs> Fuck you, Will. He won't see the whole thing. <laughs> no. Everything I know about soccer, I'm, I know I'm from just kidding, Super man. Mario Strikers. Great game. Both the GameCube version and the Wii version were Luigi's both Luigi's running. He goes on his knees. And he like, goes, wahoo! And then he fucking <laughs> kicks Mario and the chin breaks his jaw. Yeah, he fucking fireball kicks the thing into the goal. Um, yeah, but so they handled the situation the very bad. poorly. So she did that. And then Feynman, like, why didn't he just fucking, like, at the end when he, like, cheers that she's gone, that's kind of a shitty thing to do. It is. And it shows, like, if she had even picked him, would he, would he have stayed? Yeah, like that's you the, can't stay because he's fronting like he's like he's like you can make the decision. I don't, I don't really care either way it goes. And then she goes, "You go, go back." He's like, "Yes, fucking soccer! I get to go back to my he's brothers." Like, this bitch, I hate this bitch. I'm gonna go, gonna go to the to locker communism. room and I'm gonna see my bros. Naked. naked. <laughs> and we're going to slap ass, brother. Yeah. That's his, that's that's the pound, dude. Come on, that's yeah. What, it's like about excited. naked guys in a locker room. <laughs> that's what he's excited about. It's, yeah, I just feel like the scenario, it's just a toxic relationship from jump. Yeah. Her and Ned are much better off. Not even like super toxic. It's just like it doesn't work. It's just not. Question. He wants a big booty Brazilian. He does. A thick Brazilian bitch. Ideally. He'll um, settle for Moe's. <laughs> he'll settle for Moe's. <laughs> who's the, who's the th- <laughs> she's sporty, and that's all he's like. Oh, she does she sport. She is sporty. She does but sport. But she's, she's, a, she's a white lady from San Listen, Francisco. He's like, you play volleyball? Is it beach volleyball? She's like, no. He's like, okay. Moe's is like, it's not beach. <laughs> Moe's is the modern, like, is it's to the past with the modern, like, strong lady. You seen the strong ladies on the what? Twitter and stuff? What are you talking about? You said strong ladies on Twitter? You're not even on Twitter. No, but I see the images They because they make it their way through me. The, what are you talking the buff, about? The buff bitches. The buff ladies. Why are they on Twitter? You're talking about strong ladies. Because people are cowards. They've been around since before Twitter. Yeah, but it's... it's <laughs> yeah, like, like... Like Marvel's a coward right now because they didn't make She-Hulk as buff as they could have. I they could have made her more that dominant. That show, they I made, haven't watched it. They could have made her looks, twerk more. Terrible. terrible. <laughs> I've only heard bad things. And also they like super crunched and like more or less abused the animation staff for that show. So And the animation looks like dog shit. Exactly. Animation That's staff, why they crunched I them. Will to be watch fair, it animation staff exists. I, I ha- that's for that the problem reason. is I have to watch I've it. I've been taking a real a real dog shit long break because, you know, I'm really sick of Marvel. <laughs> yeah, you just watched all of them. Yeah, I watched all of and them the and then the last come- one I watched was was Thor Love and Thunder, which was fucking horrible that's why i haven't yet because i've heard it's bad and so there's it's on it's free on disney plus yeah right the now. only things that have come out of love are love and thunder let me ask you marvel heads miss- a question when's the last don't time- call me that <laughs> that you don't are say those words <laughs> when's the last time real hulk hulked out real hulk hulked out well it's been a while because what the I fuck guess? is why he got not? timid. Yeah, yeah, Ragnarok. Ragnarok, yeah, I think, was the last time we got this. Because Endgame, he was uh, normie. Ragnarok was the last time we got to see Hulk because since then it's been Professor Hulk. 
Yeah. Which and is that's basic dumb. What it's called. That's what that form it's is called. It's funny. It's funny. Professor it's, Hulk is solid. Okay. It's um, Mark Ruffalo He's is great. perfect casting yes. for, for Hulk. They really. He's good. I think Marvel had definitely hit their stride and then have since dropped the ball. Yeah. Like no other. They need to. They need DC to do, level dropping dropping the ball. They need to do better. They like from what I've heard. I haven't seen Love and Thunder yet, and I still haven't seen Love and Thunder's terrible. And I haven't seen Miss Marvel either. No, I haven't watched it either because it just doesn't look like it interests me at all. The Incredible Mrs. Marvel. They they cowered it out. They cowered it out. They're always cowards because her whole thing is more or less a Mister Fantastic style. Like they her, are fucking her cowards. Hands get really like she can. Wait, like, what's cowardice about? What do they do cowardly? They made her powers like an energy thing instead of like making her a horrible CGI monster. <laughs> <laughs> so they went the easy route. They went the easy route of making her so powers energy how, based okay. as opposed to like her hand gets really big and it will look like a horrible uncanny valley monster. But they should have done it anyways. Thoughts on Multiverse <laughs> of Madness versus I, original Doctor Strange. Original Doctor Strange is better. But no, I, disagree. Hard disagree. I did like Multiverse of Madness quite a lot. Original Doctor Strange sucks. <laughs> and me, and Abby agrees with me 100%. I don't. Because uh, he's Multiverse an of Madness, because of San Ra- Sam Raimi, is so Sam much Sam Raimi better. makes that movie. Sam Raimi is the fucking man. If anyone else had directed it, I don't think it even would No, it would have been yeah. dog shit. Sam Raimi is <laughs> the man. And we got to see Bruce yeah. Campbell again. Fucking shout out Bruce Campbell. It, it is an unofficial Evil Dead sequel. It is. Because they do... They it's a multiverse. <laughs> Technically, Evil Dead can exist within it. Fuck! All right. So Moses like, go back to Brazil, Feynman. Bitch. Because Gordy Cookie, who could just go tell her, because he's not... He didn't promise anything. Gordy promised to not tell each of them that they like each other, but he didn't say he wouldn't write it down. Gordy's being an ass. He's He's being being a a bad wingman. He's being a bad wingman. He is. Anyway, Ned gets bit by a bee on his on his lip. That was he, well before this. He's smelling flowers. <laughs> <Got> bit? <laughs> he <laughs> smells the flowers. There's a bee. It that bee is dead him. now, by the way. Rip. Could have been a hornet. Could have been a the wasp. Movie? <laughs> could have been a wasp. Do you like jazz? <laughs> it could have been a yellow jacket. A yellow jacket. It could have been Jerry jacket. Seinfeld. Yeah. What other stinging flying animals are there? Could have been a uh, mosquito. <laughs> a mosquito. A, a horse wasp? fly. A bed bug. Fuck. What are the pygmy wasps? The ones that embed into you? I think so. A t- a t- 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 they're so no, tiny. Those are, no, those are bot flies. A tzatziki oh, fly. Oh, yeah. It could have been a bot fly. Oh God! <laughs> it embeds in his lip. He has to get his fucking huge crater removed. He you gets, see how all the larvae. He gets out African of his sleeping lip. sickness. Uh, but yeah, I'm he done. <laughs> he gets given a, an antihistamine that's drowsy. so he gets bit by the. He's like, I gotta go tell Moe's, and then his lip explodes. He gets the big, you know, classic allergy. They've done allergy sh- sh- shtick on this show before. Bitch, you know. he's had the run. Well, they like probably still have prosthetic big lips <laughs> laying around, so they're like, we got to use them up. We're almost done with the show. It was a very good prosthetic lip job, I'll say that. It is. Lip job? And then, yes, the nurse gets involved. Nurse Hunsucker does come back. She, she sucked him off. She actually just sees him. She sees him. She's like, oh, shit, he's got an allergic Listen, lip. Listen, no one can get canceled on Ned Pod. That's a rule. <laughs> We what? established that rule Why from the beginning. That what happened? This What's rule <laughs> when I'm not on this and I'm the most cancelable of all of us. I think it I'm doesn't happen on I think I you think can I'm more canceled cancelable on show than me you. something, okay? I think I'm more cancelable than Trevor. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, but you for sure people are. don't ever tell me that. <laughs> Cause I just, you know <laughs> Knuckle. You gotta, up. you gotta be cool. I get cancelled the most on show me something. Abby doesn't edit Ned Pod. <laughs> Kirk does. <laughs> True. <laughs> And I was editing. Kirk Show me has something. Try to self censor. I don't have to self censor anymore, because I don't edit. Jokes on you. She doesn't edit. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Did we talk about how they go around and uh, suck each other off? What are you trying to talk about here? I'm trying to say middle that school. <laughs> it's listen. All right. <laughs> Cookie continues to snake in on this episode, right? He's this a is, snake. This is the episode where they get the prison room. He's a little yeah, snake. they go back to the prison room. I love that little courtyard <laughs> room. Because it's an open sky, so but full brick walls. So it's Cookie's still room. pursuing Lisa this Why whole would they lock second it? half. It is, in quotes, a fire exit, but that's where you go to fucking die. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about this. You'll burn this. to death in that little room. Sorry. You cook like an oven. A I'm pizza. sorry. No, this is the second half of the episode, and Cookie's still just trying to get with Lisa. And so he's butterfly netting. He catches all the other nerd suitors. 
and then locks them in a room. But when he lets them out, none of them seem to recognize the fact that he's the one that locked them in there. Was he wearing like a balaclava? He might have like fully no. chloroformed them like Dexter and like took them, like kidnapped them. To Said where sweet th- nothings into their ear. He killed a couple of them. Don't even think There's about no bringing them back. I think that they were so blind with the fact that they were able to get back to Lisa that they didn't technically care that he was the one that kidnapped them in the first place. They're really like cattle. They're so dumb and full of cum. Like they can't. <laughs> oh no, you're right. But it's all. Oh. It's the truth. <laughs> they're in. They're around puberty age. Yeah. It's the truth. They never stop if being you full don't of cum. Nut though. every six hours, you'll die. Oh fuck! I have to go. <laughs> I'm talking about it at that age. <laughs> they slink off to I the didn't. bathroom. You think? What? I was in Catholic school. <laughs> Masturbation's a sin. You were full to the brim until you were in college. <laughs> the pipes no. were clogged. No, I figured that out way too fast. <laughs> the but... school pipes were clogged. God damn it. All the time. Masturbation is a sin. <laughs> do they Even ins- though the bit... Do they that- heavily inst- how heavily instilled is that? Is it said like that? Aren't no. As plain as that? Kirk, aren't you Catholic? No. So, what the hell are you? If I'm remembering correctly, though, the whole thing about that, where they draw that from, is the guy spilling his seed, but it's because... He didn't mean to. No, it was it's actually because just he's pumpkin being seeds. told to fuck his dead brother's wife. So the family line can continue. That sounds noble. But he doesn't <laughs> want to, so he keeps spilling this. Like he keeps pulling out. So they're saying pulling out's a sin, but they interpret it as masturbation's a sin. That's the least sinful thing you can do. <laughs> pull out. When game. you first said that, I thought that she was that's, dead. That's if and anything that's polite. polite. No, the brother's that's, dead. That's polite. <laughs> the brother's dead, and so he's forced to marry the girl because. They make him fuck her dead body, and it's like, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> that is fucked up. I mean, there's a whole bit in the Bible where two girls have sex with their... They get their dad drunk and have sex with him in a cave. Isn't that John 3.16? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, I, I think, Sodom care. and Gomorrah, yeah. when that whole city gets, like, uh, like smited by God, and then the guy's wife gets Holy turned to a... Holy smite. She like gets turned to a pillar of salt because she looks back at it, and she turns what? into a pillar of salt. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, are talking about Bible shit. These are shit. all nonsense words you're saying. This no, is no. fucking Bible shit, my I guy. I read this book. Sounds crazy. <laughs> no, that's a good story. The Bible is fucking wild, man. No, that's They, fun. like, 100% condone incest in the Old Testament. It's super weird. All right, man, so the prison <laughs> room's there. Lisa's a whore. What does that say? Early My family hunting never listens to this. Please I'm sorry. Early hunting <laughs> I think tool? I'm gonna send this. Early to hunting family. tool. Gordy finds the early hunting tools because this is how they alert Moses. Whose classroom was this? <laughs> so they're up at I the assume top. it's history. Let's fucking wrap this up. So Moses in the top. <laughs> He's getting how long? Moses on the top level floor. No, sorry, Moses in the courtyard. Gordy and, and Ned are on the top of the school. They're looking down. They see her. She's confronting oh. Feynman. That's where Feynman is going to be told whether he's going to go back to Brazil or not. They need yes. to let Moe's know that Ned's interested in Moe's. Because he's so, passed the fuck out because he got run over by all the horny guys. Yeah, and, Yo, so, and so Cookie and Gordy both come up with the idea that they're going to write on a piece of paper, crumple it up, and just throw it at her. And it just says, Ned loves you. <laughs> likes you. Likes you. Underlined likes you. twice. Likes, like likes you. Like, 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 no, he doesn't just like, like, he'd like, 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 that's such a fucking fuck. Does guy. he like you or does he like you? Two underlines means like. He wants to and fucking what fuck does that you. that exactly mean? And also. Ned they, wants to fuck you. Again, Mose. there's a bow and arrow right there. And instead they go with the slingshot and then they cut to a shot of Gordy in a diaper. He becomes Cupid, Cupid. in that moment. And, and he's he, like, oh, of course. And then I guess, I, is that an alliteration or like a, a crossover to Fairly Odd Parents somehow? Yes. Okay. It might be a slight subtle reference. I mean, he's just like cartoon Cupid. Subtle. Fully cartoon Cupid. He should have had a little crown floating. But he hits her fucking square on. and Does she ca- Well, I, it I looks mean, like it just hit her chest note. and then fell on the ground. Yeah, she is square on. Right in the chest, that's where you want to throw the football. I sounded like you said face. You meant face, didn't you? I didn't know what I meant. <laughs> so she does see that. She does and read. this is Ned, yeah. She talk. does read the note. And then Feynman's it's like, what egg. do you want me to do? Just tell me if you want me to go, you want me to stay. Why is he, why to... is he Scarface? And then, uh, Cause that's the voice. And then Fame, and then Moses is like, I think you should play soccer. And Feynman's like, yes, fuck yeah. I mean, oh, I'm, I'll miss you. And she's yeah, like, and I'll he, be fine um, right now. And fucks off. She does say that, which is the most fucked up thing maybe we've ever heard. And, and then Susie like, Crab bat, grass comes back. He's oh. like, yeah, she's like, oh, thank God. 
Feynman's now finally out of my life officially. Yeah, I, they do a thing. And I'm where off scotch free. She wipes, she wipes her hands. And then, yes, the clapping. Because Ned is coming around corners. Moses is coming I, I around corners. I blew my corners. load on the Susie Grabgrass bit just then. Crabgrass. I blew my load on the clapping. You think, holy shit. You get They're chills. You get kiss. goosebumps. They're coming around the corner. The claps. And they see each other. And that's when Krubs. Single your appearance, right? No, he yeah. was there before with the phone call. He was there before with the phone call, but he does say, Susie's a wolf now. She's back. Also, he's Susie's there with the phone call, and then now, right after man. the phone call is when Susie walks up, and he's like, you're back to her, and yeah. then we don't see who it is, though. And do you think continue. she didn't notice everybody clapping? Or do you think she noticed and she was like, I better step in now, or Ned's going to be off the mark? I won't get that Ned dick. And he is not <laughs> That hung. Ned head. <laughs> He's got a micro peen. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm sure Ned is solid not like average. Seth. <laughs> I'm sure Ned is a solid average, unlike Cookie and Seth, who are both hung. Maybe. Yeah, Seth's packing. That's Seth why, more so, obviously. That's why Ev... Seth's packing some fucking heat. <laughs> Ev, Ev is now a down-ass bitch for Seth. She's part of his harem. So, anyways. Yeah, Susie's back. Susie's back, and this leads into the last episode... Where shit's gonna goddamn hit the fan. She's like, and I truly do not remember what happens because I do. I've seen yeah. the. I've there seen should it a single be, time. Th- there Don't should spoil anything. Or no, I'll kill you. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there should be no reason whatsoever that Susie coming back has should affect this at all. Yeah, right. Because he's fully. fully they both are like we like each other. He's formulated. She's in his been head. gone. Who cares? She essentially broke up with him when she moved away to Vegas. Yeah. So who cares? It should be like, oh, cool, Susie's back. By the way, we're dating now. Yeah, like, sorry your dad's a magician and you Fuck guys you. moved. And sorry your dad's David Blaine. And not for nothing, we've said it before, Susie's fucking weird. The Make way that she acts is crazy. Or some shit. I don't know. She's I'm a crazy this. bitch. She's a crazy huh? bitch. I'm she's rating it. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. You like this one. Strong. Because of the amount of impact it has on the show. It does have a lot of impact. Alone. I, and, the, and the constant um, of Ned finally having the realization and trying to make it happen with the Gordy helping him as the wingman, it adds up. It's a 9 out of 10. It wow. is what it is. It could be lower. It could be an 8.5. Okay. I'm going to roll with the 9. It is what it is. I'm going with... Oh, wait. No, you go first. Uh, because we were doing this before. Sure. So. No, I can hit this episode with an 8. Sheesh. I don't know. Shit. Wait. I don't know. It's tight. Uh, you, you think this half? You think this second half was better than the first half? I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. What do you? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying the opposite. Oh, oh. that's fair. What I hated. Do? I hated the lack of just talk. That's what. That's your number one thing. And and it you is. know what? I kind of expected that. I give it a seven out of ten. That's still pretty good. I mean, there was good. There was still good progress. They did eventually talk, kind no, of. No, I mean, the last half well, had Pea Cookie, it had Super Cookie, it had all cookie, that going for it. Pea Cookie. No, the, that was in the first that half. That was the first half. I'm saying that had that, that half had the that going The first half had the Pea Cookie and the Super Cookie. Some could say that the first half is better. That's what I'm is saying. It's just better. That's first, what I'm saying. The first half is better. I know, I'm trying to, I'm, now I'm second guessing my, my rating. <laughs> I give this, yeah, I give it a second, because like, if Gordy had just said something from the get-go, we would have had none of this, and then Susie would have entered... Post them f- confirming dating status, and then there would be no problems. They would be like, fuck you, Susie. He could really clear it up. Final rating, nose to the grindstone. The whole episode as a whole? No, mm-hmm. no, no. You specifically, because I know you're wishy-washy. You're back and you're forth. You're wishy-washy. Ah. Uh, Where's your backbone, bro? Where, where are you going to go? Where are you going to sway? hard dick stance. Where are you going to sway on it? No sway dick, hard Sheesh. dick. Standing strong in the wind. I mean, I'll keep it. Uh, I'll keep it eight. I don't know. Eight out of ten. Keep it eight. <laughs> right on. You know, you got to do it. Nine, eight, seven. Um, and yeah. that was the that was pretty much the pod. Thank you so much, Trevor, for getting on. Thank you guys for we, having me. Before we end the pod, um, the next episode as the last episode. Hopefully, we get all of the um Harbor, Harbor Boy Boys. extended universe on. We'll see what we can do. That means Not Trev. It. That means Will. That means Ked. Maybe Jess. Who knows? <laughs> I was going to say, how extended are we talking? Because Harbor Board ex- Extended includes Abby and Marissa 
And it also includes um, Emily, who was on uh, and, and James. Emily. And James. Some, if you're talking super extended universe. Every guest that's ever been on a podcast. On We've had a lot of guests. Network. I feel like we should have an episode like that. We'd have to get in touch with James. That would be fucking insane. We'd have to have <laughs> 13 mics in the room. <laughs> yep. That would be chaos. One day. Maybe if you guys Members wanna, only. If you guys want a chaos pod you want a full and you panel? want us to put it on the Patreon. A full Comic-Con panel size podcast. And you want us to put it on the fucking Patreon. Shout out. Or YouTube members. Yeah. Or if you want us to just start vlogging, we could do it. We could vlog. If you want us to quit we our job. Vlog. If you guys want us to quit our jobs. Subscribe because we need to make more money off of this. Yeah, because you know what? We need to make money for one and two. I like my job. <laughs> <laughs> I do really like my job, so we'd have to make a lot of money. Yeah, so dab on the haters. That's been the episode. That's been the Ned Pod. Thank you so much. Shout out all the people in the Ned Pod Nation. Shout out everybody who's been listening for the whole ride along. Yeah. Yeah. I know you guys are out there. I know you guys have been hitting us up. I'm sorry for the delay, but... Fucking shit happens. There was a hurricane. You gotta stay tuned. You gotta I got fucking listening. engaged. <laughs> yeah. Nothing else happened. We've been busy. Me. Trevor's been fucking going on a thousand dates a minute. If you wanna hit up Lindsay Shaw, Lady M. Shosters, <laughs> if you wanna hit up De- Devin Works Harder, you can hit Pinky Daniel Pinky Curtis Pinky. Lee. We Daniel Curtis Lee, hit him love up. Love I mean, to have Pinkston. somebody on the final episode. At least one of them on the um, final episode. If you episode. wanna hit up Lil Nas X, I know he went as uh, uh, Seth for Halloween one year. Yeah. But otherwise, thank you guys for listening, and we'll catch you guys for the next pet, next Ned Pod. Stay netting or stay deadin'. It's in the beans. It's in the beans, baby. Weasels. It's in the beans.